and I might have a toast with you. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great, I'm tourist. We ain't taking no losses, we winning. Undefeated, the percentage. Yo, what's happening, everybody, man? As y'all see, man, shout out my guy Yogi, man. We got Yogi in the building with us tonight, man. Mr. I wanna hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We hey, we can't give Yogi Bob's name. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Lately, he been Mr. I wanna mock. You hear me? I'ma just keep it gangster. He been Mr. I wanna mock. But if y'all notice, man, I got the green lights back there. And no, that do not stand for the package. You hear me? F the packers, man. FTP, man. You already know what time it is. But today day, is St. Patrick's day. day. And I'm not Irish, but I'm still going to rep. You feel me? Because my mama is. She half she half Irish, so I'm going to rep for her today. You hear me? But look, man, shout out everybody in the building. I appreciate y'all, man. Shout out Charlie. Shout out Charlie in the building. Let's go. Uh, let's go. And the Rick Flair. Let's go, man. If you're watching on X, I know people watching on X, man. Make sure hit the retweet button for me. Hit the retweet button for me and Yogi, man. Let's get this out. Listen, I got Yogi in the building. So you know what we're going to do, man. We definitely going to mock. You feel me? I got the mock pulled up and I'm thinking, Yogi, maybe we should do just maybe we should do the first round and just do every team like, oh. like go through pick for every team. Kind of just, you know, do it like that. I think that'd be fun. Change it up a little bit. Right. Yeah, like we that. can do that. Yeah. So we we definitely going to do we definitely going to do us a little mock, man. We do us a nice little mock, y'all, man. But um, yeah, man, let me drop the 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 hater block is on man you know what i'm saying <laughs> let's go to evil in the building man let's go man we got jason in the building let's get it man shout out to you bro shout out to you man let's go man we got bob in the building fade you up man let's get it og appreciate you man you know get hey, yogi got that fade man you know it's cool for like bob are gonna get you right you heard yeah for sure hit his jack man you know, right for so man shout out erica shout out eric from new mexico Florinda and Raquel, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you tapping in as always, brother. We got Pop Punk School, man. Shout out to you. What's good, fam? Hey, we chilling, man. Shout out Rage Against the... Hold on, let me see. What is it? Rage Against the, the Anal Beat. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, shout out to you, man. <laughs> shout out to you. Appreciate you tapping in, my guy. <laughs> or my girl. You know what I mean? I don't right. know. You know what I'm saying? You talking, you talking like that. I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Just you know, whatever you want. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out Norris Birdman. I like what I like that name. That's fire, man. Shout out to you, man. Shout out my guy scolding in the building, man. Riddler. I see you, Riddler. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's um let's go. We got Yogi in a bit. Matter of fact, I need to pin your um. I need to pin your, your comment real quick. Um, shout out, uh, shout out. Let me see. Let me make sure I got everybody, man. Shout out, Mamba Life. I see your Mamba Life. Let's go, man. Shout out to you. What's up, Jacob? Appreciate you, man. Y'all, y'all, turn up for me today, man. Let's go. We got Raymond in the building, man. Listen, I'm gonna pin. Here we go. Boom. Pin message. All right. So I got Yogi's. I got Yogi's. Um channel pinned at the top of the comments on the on the live stream y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to my bro man we trying to grow his page over there he's been putting in that work he deserves it you hear me because he be grinding day in and day out man so shout out to yogi man we're gonna take a sip for that hype for the draft man happy saint patrick's day appreciate you curly man shout out to you curly let's go man it's for you baby all right so what we got going on, man? How you feeling, Yogi? First of all, man, how you feeling? Man, I man, I've been pumped about this free agency. I mean, the four the four picks alone: Jones, Greener, Van Ginkle, mm -hmm. and uh, Cashman. Mm -hmm. Those those picks alone, I've been ecstatic about it. And I don't want people to start comparing Greener to Hunter. Yeah, Hunter was a great player. You're it's his shoes are not going to be easily filled, but the direction we're moving, the cap space we had, the getting rid of the old contracts for 2025 to be just getting players right. to fill needs to where yeah. we can start getting the tradition of using the draft to get players as depth pieces and to build instead of drafting for need. Yeah. And that's where we have to get to, in my opinion, as an organization. 
Man, I feel you on that, man. I feel the same way, man. Shout out Skull Bro in the building, man. My guy Purple Gang, you hear me? Shout out Ryan, man. He said, what's up, Yogi and Rap? Appreciate you, man. AJ, what's poppin', gang? You already know what time it is, man. My boy Cringe in the building, man. Dave from Minnesota Sports Talk in the building on X, man. Make sure you retweet that thing for us, Dave. Retweet it over there on your channel, man. You know what I'm we saying? You know, you got all the, the fucking follow. <laughs> we got Day in the building. Oh, what's happening, Day? Let's go, man. Shout out Day. Shout out Day, man. But yeah, man. Um, shout out Devin with the skull. Let's go, baby. Skull. Yeah, I, I mean, I feel the same way, man. You know what I mean? Like the free agency I feel so far was good. I mean, my only, I guess my only move that I don't like obvious is the obvious move with the Sam Darnold, right? And I'm just and and it's not because. I feel like he's going to be the quarterback. Like, that's the thing. I know he's not going to be the quarterback. So, like, I mean, that's what I'm hoping, right? I say I know, but that's that's the plan. You feel me? And (laughs) what would piss me off is if he does become the quarterback, you know what I mean? Because the rookie that they draft just doesn't seem ready or whatever the case may be. But again, man, like, that's probably the only pickup where I kind of scratch my head because I look at his skill set compared to Nick Mullen's skill set and is it is it that much more like is it that crazy right where it's like Sam Darnold starting over Nick Mullins if need be like are you going to win that many more games if you have to go that route is is it just going to be that much better to watch is it that easier much easier on the eyes I don't know if it be like to me it's a no but you know some people feel different about Sam Darnold and feel like he can maybe come in and have a resurgence but I want to say this to Vikings fans. Um, you know, we got to make sure we keep in the energy the same. And what do I mean by that? Well, we talk about Kirk Cousins not being able to, he's only has one playoff game in 12 years and all this egg. We always throwing that in, in his face, right? Well, we got to keep that energy with Sam Donald, bro. Like Sam Donald hasn't done shit, bro. Like Sam Donald loses everywhere he goes. The same thing that I said with Josh Dobbs when we got, like Josh Dobbs is known for losing every single where he, every place he goes. And Sam Donald's the same way. <laughs> like there, Sam Donald has never showed you that he can play at the position and actually take a team to the next level. It's just not there. The evidence isn't there. He's been in the league long enough. You know what I mean? So that's my problem. And Nick Mullins can't either. But shit, that's right. the point. <laughs> that that's the whole point. Is both of them motherfuckers can. You know what I'm saying? So what does it matter? Hey, right. two tone. What up, my guy? Hey, just let you know. Um, I got that in the mail yesterday. It should be to your place by tuesday but speaking of um sam darnold yeah i almost want to think that might have been a um mcgowan or josh mccown yeah josh yeah, mccown, McCown yeah. influence to mm-hmm. where they've worked together so yeah. he might have insight of his study habits right how he breaks down film stuff like that to where he was like you know what let's get him bring him in to help be a bridge just because they've worked together so that's a fact and i'm gonna say this i'm gonna assume that justin fields was not on the table for the vikings because vikings fans we got to keep it real because if if we talk about us not trading in division we got to expect the chicago bears to think the same so we can't be oh shit you know the Steelers got fields for a six round pick. Why couldn't we have got that to where, hey, I'm just going to assume Pulls was like, Vikings, you are not on the table. And he wanted to trade at a division, at a no, conference, bro. because if he was on the table, <laughs> we did pick that. Bro. And, you know, when I seen that news, man, um, yeah, like I sat back and thought about it. I ain't going to lie. I'm sure a lot of Vikings fans sat back and thought about it. Like, yo, hold up a minute. Like this dude went for a six round pick. Not even this year. Like this motherfucker went for a six round pick next year. Like next year. Like like the Steelers don't even get to pick a player to, in April. Like They got to wait a whole nother year. Bro, and this was supposed to be their franchise quarterback first round pick. And obviously he didn't pan out to be that guy, but like you could still see the potential there. And, you know, hey, look, I feel like Justin Fields would have definitely been a different football player in purple than he was in dark yeah. blue, bro. Like that is a fact. Like, and when I, you got a point. Cause when I seen that, I was like, yo, like you going to tell me that you wouldn't have took Justin Fields for a six round fucking pick. And I told y'all Mac Jones set the, set the market. 
I knew they wasn't going to get much more, man. Once Mac yeah. Jones went for a six, I knew it was over with for Fields, bruh. Because they are in the same, they're, they're going to be tied together, man. Being they came into the same draft, they both were first round picks. Hey, one guy made the Pro, Pro Bowl went, and Mac Jones one year. The other guy did it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, shit, he went for a six. You, what you think? You about to get a second or something for Fields? Right. Like, you crazy, <laughs> bro. Like, what? Like, that's like having two houses exactly identical in the neighborhood. One sell for 450000 The other one sell for six fifty. dollars bro. It just ain't going to happen, bro. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right so, now. So let's right give now. Quasi the benefit of the doubt right now that Fields was not on the table for the Vikings no. via polls. Nah, he Did we hear not, news he was? He's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out in the shout out Zoe in the building, man. I see my guy Zoe, man. What's happening? In the Rick Flair. Shout out my guy Zoe, man. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe. My guy Raymond in the building, man. Shout out Raymond. I see you, man. Trisha, I see you, Trisha. Appreciate you. It's St. Patrick's Day rap. Can we draft St. Patrick this year? Uh, who is so who can we draft St. Patrick? Who's St. Patrick? Who's St. Patrick, Trisha? Because you know what I'm saying? Hey, do, do he know how to play quarterback? Because if you know how to play quarterback, sign me up, goddammit. Mr. Pink said, Drake May, J.J. McCarthy are projects. McCarthy isn't worthy of a top 11. Is, is Kenny Pickett, Mac Jones? Oh, you, you're saying McCarthy's compared to Kenny Pickett and Mac Jones? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I, 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 like, I like J.J. I think J.J. McCarthy definitely a different type of breed than them dudes, man. That's a fact. I'm not even going to play my boy like that. I'm not going to play my boy like that. But we're going to talk about Drake May, which I'll see on the thumbnail, because all of the news is pointing towards Drake May. All right. And I, and I want to get I want to get Yogi. I'm glad Yogi's on here with me because I want to get Yogi's opinion on Drake May. If you've watched them or if you even took the time to go out and figure Drake May out, you know, what I'm saying I don't know if you did or not. I damn sure did. And I'm going to tell you it was exhausting. All right. I'm going to tell you it was exhausting, bro. Like it's exhausting watching because, like, I'll let you, man. For I'll let you go first, and then I'll, I'll tell you how I, what I saw. So, so last year I thought he was just checked down, Charlie. So that's when I started liking Bo Nix and Jordan Travis. This year, now that he's getting the hype of three, I was like, okay, let me. So I started watching Kurt Warner break down film on him, and. I still was not impressed. I'm sorry, guys. I hold up real quick, Yogi. Hold up real quick. SK, you 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 are you ready? Like you want to come on? Shit. Hey, don't say it if you ain't trying to pop out. Like straight up. Like if you ain't trying to pop out, don't say, it. do you want to come on? Do you want because me and Yogi did this on the random tip. You feel me? But if you want to pop out, pop out. Just say the word. We sending you the link, bro. But yeah, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Yogi. <laughs> so even in Kurt Warner's uh, breakdown of him. He, he he was talking about his deficiencies, but he was trying to hype up like his his reads. But mm -hmm. okay, his reads are good, but his inaccuracy is bad. Okay, he's got good reads, but if he can't get the ball there, what the fuck? <laughs> what are we What are we even doing? Okay, goes he looks, it's not there, but he finds the read, but can't get the ball there. Yeah. What are, what are we doing? Yeah, I yeah. don't know. I'm just not impressed. But Me I'm, either. So and I, and I watch I watch that same breakdown too with Kurt Warner. I believe probably because yeah. it, it came out recently. Is that the one you're talking about? Yep, I think yep. there's one that came yeah, out recently. Yeah, uh, uh, episode one and episode two. I'm yeah, so that's it, and that's a good watch to be real. If whoever hasn't seen that man, go check out Kurt Warner's breakdown on Drake May. Um, you know, and, and he kind of solidified a lot of stuff that I seen when I was watching him, you know, a couple weeks ago. And then I started watching him this week a lot. Once I found out that the Vikings made the trade, especially I'm like, OK, one of these two motherfuckers about to be our quarterback. Let me I, JJ. I already know. You feel me? Like JJ I already know. I've been watching him. I'm a Michigan fan. It's, it's obvious. Right. But like Drake May, it's like, let me go see and try to get hype. bro. You watch his highlights, you're going to get hype. Like, he going to sell you on the highlight. You watch his highlights, you'll think he's going to be the next Josh Allen, Justin Herbert type of guy. That's what he'll right. do to you. You watch the actual film in the games, bro, you're going to be like, well, hold up. <laughs> like, well, hold up. This motherfucker got, like, one throw a game that might be fire. Like, for sure. And there's a lot of inconsistencies in his game, bro. Exactly. There's a ton of them, bro. Like, there's a lot of missing wide open receivers to try to force the ball like there will be plays where you know you'll have receivers open but he will sit there and 
All you got to do is hold the ball for one extra second and your guy will come open. But he rather forced the ball in the middle of the field between, you know, linebackers and safeties and shit. And it's just like sometimes the receiver makes a good play and makes him look good. Yeah. But uh, most of the time it just looks ugly because when you look at it from a bird's eye view, you're like, yo, like, come on, man, you missing that type of shit. Like, that's the type of shit that ain't going to work. Now, some people will say that he didn't have the weapons at UNC. And I can agree with that. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I feel like if he comes to the Vi I feel like any quarterback come to the Vikings, they're going to have a better situation. So, like, I'm, I'm confident in that. So, and Kevin O'Connell, I'm confident in, in getting him to be able to maybe see those reads. You know what I mean? Maybe he could see those. But, again, I'm not too hype on Drake May, bro. I'm just not on the train like everybody, bro. Hey, what, what I posted my top 10 quarterbacks and had him in my tier four quarterbacks people were on my head i i have them in with spencer radler michael pratt sam hartman and drake may in my tier four yeah yeah so i i got him number i got him number four man i'm gonna I'm I'm gonna keep it real man i got him number four now let's talk about it though because if we move up right shout out mike sports vibe in the building my guy man shout out my guy in the Thank building shout out Gil. <laughs> let's go man <laughs> shout out my guy man for sure man we got Gil we got Danny in the building KJ to the Patriots did that happen Danny is that official KJ to the Patriots or is that or is he just saying or is he just saying that Trisha said right. tell everybody to like and subscribe hit the like button hit the subscribe button no <laughs> yep. for sure man y'all definitely Breaking. make sure that like button seven minutes ago the Patriots are signing former Vikings right receiver KJ Osborne Oh, wow. KJ Osborne to the damn Patriots, man. Hold on. Let me uh, let me let me do this. Let me update my Twitter. <laughs> Let's see. We'll do this, man. KJ. Damn, KJ. Hey, you know, that's good, though, man. Yeah, that's good, though, because he wouldn't have did us no good over here. He wouldn't have did us no good over here, man. You know what I'm saying? He wouldn't have did us no good. So that's good, man. I got to scroll down the bottom for the ones who tap in now that, that, that don't know the news. Yeah, man. I mean, listen, he wouldn't have, he, he, would, he wouldn't have did us. He wouldn't have did us no justice anyways, man. You know what I mean? Good for KJ. I'm happy for KJ. You know what I'm saying? Like he deserves, he definitely deserves to goddamn to, to go somewhere where he can show his talents. And maybe, I mean, think about this. If you looking at, if you looking at the, if you're actually looking at the Patriots, man, could he possibly be? I, I know people are going to laugh at this, but I'm just saying, could he possibly be their number one option? Like, who the fuck is their wide receiver? I don't know anybody on their team. I know they got kid. Um, I know they got Kendrick Bourne, um, which I think they treat him as the as the number one right now. But shit, I think KJ might be a little better. I'm keep it gangster. If you give him the ball enough. See, our problem was we didn't throw it to him often. But then when we did last year, it seemed like he dropped it a lot. So it pissed us off as Vikings fans. You know right. what I mean? Because I don't, I don't think he was able to get in the rhythm. Because we saw, like, during the Colts game, when we were down 33-0, when you get him, the, when you keep feeding him the ball, like, he just gets better as the game goes. And he's the type that really can be official out there. You know what yeah. I mean? So, he was one of those guys. You got to, you can't just throw him one pass in the first quarter and then the second quarter try to throw him another pass. You got to, like, get the man going. And when you get got JJ and now you got Addison and you have Hawkinson, there just wasn't enough room, man. So, you know what I mean? It's good, man. I'm happy for I'm happy for KJ, man. Shout out KJ, man. For sure. Shout out KJ. Um, let's get it. Let's get some um, let's get some shout out, man. Shout out Adam Dub in the building. I see you, Dub. What's happening with you, bro? Cringe in the building. Cringe in the building, man. Mamba, man. What's happening, Mamba Life? Appreciate you tapping in, Mamba Life. Hey, listen. Hey, we got Raj in the building. Hey, shout out to you. Hey, listen, we got. We got 136 people watching on YouTube, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to my guy, Yogi, man. His, his uh, channel's pinned in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Like, go subscribe to my guy. My guy be putting in that work, man. So shout out to him, man. Y'all make sure. Hey, Mr. I want a minar. You heard? <laughs> hey, we definitely <laughs> going to do a mock. We're going to do a mock while we got Yogi in the building for sure. Shout out Joe, John. Uh, damn, I'm going to fuck your name. Joel. Joel. Joel Wallace. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, man. Appreciate you tapping in. Appreciate you tapping. But again, man, I'll go back to the, you know, back to the, back to if we can get, can't like, let's, let's think about this. Can we get, do you believe that we can get Jaden Daniels, first of all, 
is that even a possibility? Or do we feel like the Vikings are actually just locked in on Drake May? Like, I mean, I, I thought about this. Like, it was one of those things where it was like, are the Vikings trying to bluff people? That's why I got it in right. the title. Like, is it a bluff or no? Because maybe they really do like Jaden Daniels. I mean, I know people are, and, and, I've, and I've said this too, where it was like, hey, I think Drake May is, you know, the type of guy that Kevin O'Connell likes. But then I always go back to evidence. Y'all know RAP is very evidence-based, man. And I'm going to tell you what, and I'm, I'm going to say this again. I know this, most of the core Purple Gang members have heard me say this. Like, when, when, when Kirk Cousins got hurt, we went after Joshua Dobbs. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, why would you do that? You feel me? Why would you do that? And then on top of that, the rumors that we heard when the Vikings were going to be aggressive to go Anthony Richardson. Now, whether those rumors were true or not, I mean, we don't know. But the, but the truth is, like, we think, we believe as Vikings fans that Kevin O'Connell wants a Drake May type quarterback. But does he really? You know what I'm saying? Like, does he really? Because the evidence show it be different. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. And, right. and people, don't get it twisted. Daniels is not a run-first quarterback. Nope. That boy can sling it. He can sling it. Facts. And he's got the the ability to run it when a play breaks down. There's a difference. He's Factual. looking to slang the rock because he had Malik Neighbors, Brian Thomas Jr., two great wide receivers to throw that rock to. So if he's st- – so I know – I talk about trade JJ. That's just for worst case scenarios, shit like that. Right. But if you got Jaden Daniels slinging the rock to fucking Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison and TJ Hawkinson, and with the news that just broke, uh, Powell being the number three, yeah. come on now. Facts. Come on now. Facts. And if we haven't upgraded on our offensive line to where if a play breaks down, he's able to run. Come on now. And we Let's got go. Jones, Chandler. Oh, come Talk on. To him. Talk to him. Talk I'm, to I'm him. telling you, if the mock happens and we move up to pick two or three and get Jaden Daniels. Oh, man, that would be the man. And, and most Vikings fans want that. You know, I like I've been putting out polls and stuff with, with again with like Drake May versus J.J. McCarthy. And I get why people want Drake May. Like, don't get me wrong. I get why the Vikings community, like I get why Vikings community, why we want that. I get that. You know what I mean? Because when you're just a fan and you know, and you're just sitting back and you're just like, Hey, I hear all the hype about this guy. This guy's built like this, that, and a third. He's tall. He reminds me of guys that I see in the league right now, AKA Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, because that's what the big media is pushing. You know, it's easy for a fan to just sit back and say, man, fuck that. I want Drake may over JJ McCarthy, like shit, you know, but when you talk about, somebody like you know that might put in a little bit of work and might actually go watch some game watch film and stuff like that and you look for certain things and you're like well hold up hold up a minute like before y'all go watch that highlight uh video you know let's talk about this real quick because I'm, I'm gonna tell you some shit that you might not know you know what i'm saying i'm gonna tell you right now the boy film ain't that cute bro that shit is kind of ugly like that ass now could his ceiling be super hot yeah i believe that like i believe drake may could turn into a super sane Josh Allen and Justin, like a, a mix of those two guys. You know what I'm saying? Like that could, that's also possible. You know what I'm saying? That is also possible. And w- for that, I mean, if you take the chance, take the chance, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm riding with whoever we riding with. Yeah, And that's the that's facts. That's the facts. Like last year, you and I rap. What do we say we need to do in the draft? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be- aggressive <laughs> for sure just be aggressive man shout out to everybody in the comments man shout out everybody in the building we got 185 people watching man that is a record for rapz over here at, at um vocal vike man and i'm glad i got my boy yogi to do this with me man y'all make sure y'all subscribe to my guy man let's go but nah like for real though like i mean look but most people want Jaden daniels and I do too. Me and you both do. And I, and shout out to you because you've been on Jaden Daniels before a ton of people. Like, you know, I, I want to make this clear. Yogi's been screaming Jaden Daniels back in August, September, like September, November, you know, October type area. Like he's been in that, he's been in that realm for a minute. You know what I mean? So shout out to Yogi for that man being on top of that because, you know, me, I've always been JJ McCarthy, Caleb Williams, like those been my guys. And then 
you know, Yogi kind of opened me up to, to Jaden Daniels. I was like, you know what? Let me go watch the boy. And I'm going to tell you, you got a great point. You When you think of Jaden Daniels, you can't think of a running quarterback. He just happened right. to be a motherfucker that know how to run. You know what I'm saying? But he throw the ball really good. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. the deep ball. Like, the deep ball is crazy, bro. Like, this man literally be dropping that shit in the bucket. You hear me? Like, I don't think there's anybody that does it better. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to him, man. You know, and, and that would be, you know, it would be weird for, because I know people are saying, like, oh, well, the commanders really like him. Um, you know, I'm going to keep it real. I think, to be honest with you, I think the commanders like Drake May. Me too. I, mean, I think the commanders like Drake May, man. And if that's the case, man, like, you know, because weirder things have happened. And I think the commanders like Drake May. And, and if we could get Jaden Daniels, bro, like we were just talking about, that would be best case scenario for the Minnesota Vikings, in my opinion, man. Like, facts. Like, we would be lit at that point, bro. Like, for sure, man. Shout out, shout out FT Maddie, man, for the, for the becoming a member, man. Let's go. Shout out to you in the building. And, and, and the commanders have been pretty hush hush about their quarterback intention. Yeah. They, they might not like Daniels or May. They might like a Bo Nix. They might like a, a Michael McCarthy. They might like a JJ. To where if we were to trade up to number two and they had that 11 and 23. Yeah. To where they can maneuver and either get JJ McCarthy at the six or at the five or whatever. Yeah. They, I mean, my I, I don't think anybody's picking Bo Nix at two. I mean, shit, I don't know. Like, I'm, I mean, look, I put it like this. If you know that your guy, then I, it, I don't think the number where you pick him matters. I said that. Like, right. so like you said, if like if but what I will say is this Kingsbury one thing about what I, the evidence that will show me that he would more likely go for a Jaden Daniels, because that is the type of guy he liked. If you think about it, right. Because you got to think about Kyler Murray, uh, uh, your boy, uh, Caleb Williams. He kind of likes those. I mean, he likes a mobile guy. You feel me? Like, right. let's just call it for what it is. He like he likes a guy that can run around. That's just what he likes. So, I mean, honestly, if I look at that, but, People are talking about Drake May being mobile and shit. You know what I mean? And maybe he has a change of heart. I'm hoping he has a change of heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping he has a change of heart. Because if he does and we get to move up to three, we're getting Jaden Daniels, bro. Like, for sure. And what would be even crazier? Imagine this, right? Imagine a draft starts and we don't trade up to three. You know what I'm saying? Let's just say we don't trade up, right? And imagine the draft starts and we're past the third pick and Jaden Daniels hasn't been picked yet. And then we passed the we passed the fifth pick, and Jaden Daniels hasn't been picked yet. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe Quasi them have insight that nobody's really going Jaden Daniels. Like they don't, they just don't have the faith in it right now, you know, because he does take big hits on film. You know what I mean, and there's people that talk about that. You know, so we've seen people slip for the for the weirdest shit. I mean, think about Justin Fields, for example, yeah. and Mac Jones. Think about that. That's another good one. Mac Jones and Justin in that draft, all oh, those play, they, bro, they were being hyped up as going to be the next generation of quarterbacks. Remember that? <laughs> so I saw this post. Remember back in the day where one of the players had one of those gas masks on and was like smoking weed? Yeah. 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 <laughs> fell in the draft. So, so I put a, uh, so I put a LSU logo on it. It was like, oh no, it's Jaden Daniels smoking weed. Out of a <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking oh, dying. Shit. I was hey. Dying. <laughs> hey, man, we broke a record, man. 210 people in the building watching, man. Let's go, man. Shout oh. out to everybody, man. Go Vikings. Wait, 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 let's wait. go, man. Y'all coming out for the boy, man. Let's go, so dumb. Let's just party. Let's have fun. Hey, night. Hey, remember. Hey, let's hey, get let's go. Hey, I'm telling you, you want to know what it is? It's a great time to be a Vic It's a great time to be a Vikings fan, man. That's what it is. You want to know? Like, ever since we got rid of now, listen, some of y'all out of these 221 people in the building watching us right now, I'm sure that some of y'all were Kirk fans, but I'm going to tell you, we needed this to happen to reunite us, bro. Like, we needed this to happen to reunite us, man. That's why, man, everybody popping out now. You hear me? <laughs> like, for sure. Everybody back outside, bro. It's going to be a hot boy and hot girl summer. You hear me? Like, for sure, man. We we back outside, baby. 
Let's repping this repping this Minnesota Vikings. Oh, that's my boy Nick, man. The pop punk squad. Yeah, I, okay. Shout out my guy Nick, man. Let's go, man, for sure. And, and, and the only thing I'm thinking about Kirk Cousins right now is that draft pick we're gonna get for his tampering. <laughs> oh yeah, and oh, I seen a I actually seen about. a new report about that today. So like they on that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, they on that. They on that. Like we might be getting that for real. We might be getting that for real. To be honest with you, I don't even care. I don't even care if it's if it's a, a third round, fourth round. Just right. just give us just give us our pick, man. And like justice must be served. You hear me? Like for sure. <laughs> justice, but he hey, somebody posted on Twitter, man. Somebody was like, shit, Kirk Cousins just got signed and he already throwing picks. Like for sure. Like facts, <laughs> bro. Hey, let's go, man. <laughs> No justice, no peace. <laughs> hey, for sure, man. He already throwing picks, man. The boy just get the A. The boy just get to the A. He already throwing picks, man. Shout out my boy Mont, man. Shout out my G in the building, man. For sure, man. My guy. I seen your text too, bro. We talked about it. We talked about it, man. Yeah, KJ out of there, man. KJ out of there. But you know that that we we talked about it briefly, man. That's a good thing for KJ, man, to get up out of there. And you know that move. I mean, that move really doesn't send us any signals as if the Patriots are going to be more willing to trade out of the third spot. Um, you know, because there's still a possibility that they might not be willing to move, bro. Like, for real. So we, I know we're sitting here acting like, because there's this, there's this thing that came out, right? And I want to know how you feel if you believe this. And, and, and the chat, too, I want y'all to, if y'all believe this, too. I mean, because there's this thing that came out where Quasi might already have, like, a handshake deal. Where it's like, hey, he already reached out to X team at, towards the top and said, the X team told them, hey, you know, this is what we would look for if you want to move up to our spot. Go ahead and get this and then we can we can make business happen. Right. Um, I mean, to me, I'm going to say that's BS. Like what I will say is teams probably seen what we obviously all the teams seen what we did and they're probably like, oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. I ain't gonna lie Two, I think the Patriots would be would would definitely be good for the spot because think about yeah. this, man. They really, I mean, they're not winning right now regardless. Neither are we, but we need to get our quarterback and we kind of low-key desperate. I ain't going to lie because this is the quarterback draft where we need to get him, especially coming off a guy like Kirk Cousins. We got to at least fill a hole a little bit, you know what I mean? But like the Patriots, I feel like they be they got a rookie head coach in Mayo. It's more like, all right, let's go ahead and get us some capital so we can build the infrastructure first. And then we'll go get our quarterback. And you never know what happened. Think about this. Free agency always happens. It's going to happen again next year. People are going to want to get traded. There's going to be a quarterback available next year. There's going to be stuff happening. So there's always going to be some spice happening anyways. So if you can think into the future as a Patriots fan, as Patriots organization, bro, take the picks. Let us get number three. You feel me? Like, for sure. Take so, the picks. Let us get number three. To, to be real, I mean, Vikings fans might be mad about us not getting Justin Fields. Yeah, I'm telling you what. If I'm a Patriots fan right now, I'd have been pissed. That's who should be pissed. Yeah, if yeah. They could have got Justin Fields with all that cap space they got. Yeah. What the? But you know what they were saying? Um, shout out Courtney. You know Courtney Cronin, Cronin for that used to cover the Vikings. Obviously now she covers the Bears. She said like the league was saying though, man. The league literally looked at Justin Fields as a backup. You feel me? And I got to say this, like, you know, Ryan Poles did right by that man. Why? Because he sent them to a team where he possibly can be the starter. Maybe not this year because they got Russell Wilson, but Russell Wilson's on a one year deal. So he possibly could be the guy that just slides right in because Russell's going to retire here, bro. He's going to retire here in the net within the next season or two, if anything. Yeah. Like if, if now if he makes a deep run this year with the Steelers, he, obviously he's going to try to come back and they're going to re want to resign him. But like, if the if the if the Steelers season goes and the average season for the Steelers is definitely making the playoffs and then just losing in the first round because they always make the playoffs. Right. So like them making the playoffs isn't going to decide if they're going to keep Russell Wilson or not. It's going to be did we make it to the AFC championship game? All right. If we did that, we'll bring Russell Wilson back. If not, dog, Justin Fields literally can just slip right in there and be the starting quarterback for the Steelers in 2025. And I and I so think polls did when, that for a reason when would they have to pick up the fifth year option is it at the i think it's at the end of this season like at the end of 2024 i believe they'll oh, have to so at the end of the season they would have to pick yeah. up the fifth year option okay yeah 
because yeah. that's like 25 million guaranteed so okay yeah 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 shout out shout out everybody man and listen we got 233 people watching i need y'all please hit the like button on the way in please hit the like button let's push this thing out of here man hit the like button right now man the likes should be going crazy man where wrench gang at man keep them on point you know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, Make and, sure if, they hit them. and if you're watching from twitter be sure hey hit the retweet button on twitter retweet hit the retweet button or find him on youtube yeah and get in the chat room because mm -hmm. the chat, chat room up. going crazy you heard for sure and yeah because we we only got we only got 57 likes and there's 233 people watching y'all crazy hit that like button man so hit the you, like you know what i think it is rap like if people yeah. are watching from twitter yeah i don't think they could hit like buttons and stuff that might be the case that might yeah. be the case um shout out shout out uh he said i love this show and the chat room hey yeah the chat room be pumping <laughs> the chat room definitely be pumping fields went for a cheap shot he really did man like fields for, for a sixth round pick man you know what i'm saying like that's crazy bro like that is crazy man i don't i don't get that man you know a lot of bears fans are mad at the shit i don't really oh, yeah. care you know, I don't really care. Um, Al said bad reports coming out on McCarthy. Big mistake waiting to happen. Man, listen, why you feel like that? Like, why you feel like that, man? Like, shit. I don't know, man. McCarthy a dog, man. Like, for sure. In my opinion, man, McCarthy just has all the tools that you want to see. Like, he he doesn't have a lot of film that him like he's not dropping back. 40 times and throwing the ball, right. but he has enough film where you could see throws and you could see him scramble. You could see him actually scan the field. You know what I mean? Not, we're not talking about no bullshit of one read, throw the ball or two reads, throw the ball. Like you, you use your eyes to look the safety off and then you know, you're going to the check down. Like that is the actual play. you like, that shit is basic as hell. Like JJ McCarthy actually has plenty of plays where he is going through his whole full progression bruh and then making a decision and if it's not there he takes off you just gotta know how to break it down and watch him man the dude got it man i'm telling you now you know obviously all of these guys have an opportunity to be bust in the nfl and they also all have an opportunity to be good in the nfl it all depends on in my opinion where they go who's the coaches because all of that matters as well and you know what i mean we know that look hey, at justin hey. fields <laughs> Bring up two evils last comment because Justin Fields was in college was a dog. You hear me? Like for show. Sure. That motherfucker got the shit into the stick, man. He went to the Bears and it was over with. Now he went for a six round pick. <laughs> for show, sure, man. That boy went for a six round pick. Let me see. Where's the uh McCarthy was evil? buried by uh Hold on, damn. I don't know how far how far back was it, bro. I ain't gonna lie, because this, this shit going crazy i probably uh, not too far back it was the last one well basically he says McCart uh mccarthy was carried by uh the defense in the run game exactly look at the 49ers oh yeah yeah okay yeah look at the 49ers they got a defense and a run game yeah that's what we want to build towards <laughs> a it's crazy yeah and a run game yeah yeah so like and that and i and i did a video on that like you know, it's crazy, like, because they're, they're actually doing this argument with JD5, too. Well, you know, J Jaden Daniels had weapons on his team. That's why he looks so good, bro. Like, we got to stop having these conversations, man, if you really think about it. Because, like, isn't that the goal? Like, you know what I mean? Like, isn't the goal to win? You feel me? Like, of course he has. That's what you want. The Vikings have weapons, too. So now you could see what he can do with weapons. I mean, I like that, to be honest with you. Like, shit, I don't want to, I mean, you see a guy that can do it without weapons and you're like, okay, hey, shit, he didn't have weapons and he still was balling, but shit, at the end of the day, like the, the, the whole, and that's why I did a video not too long ago saying we need to start holding our franchise accountable for building a team properly. My thing with JJ McCarthy is this, the Michigan Wolverines gave you a formula how to win with him, all right? No other quarterback won. You feel me? Bo Nix didn't win with the formula they had. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a damn if he only threw the ball 10 times. It doesn't matter. They didn't win with the formula. You know what I mean? Uh, Jaden Daniels didn't win. Caleb Williams didn't win. You feel me? Guess who won? J.J. McCarthy. So what you need to do is realize that, okay, you got Roman Wilson. 
You got a lot of people that say Roman Wilson saved J.J. McCarthy. All right. Think about who we have on our team. I'll wait. Guess who we got on our team? That, that, and, and, this, and trying to compare him to Roman Wilson is crazy, bro. We're not even going to have that conversation, but right. we have a Roman Wilson <laughs> times 10. His name is Justin Jefferson. You feel me? You get a running game. We brought Aaron Jones in. Hey, that's nice. Aaron Jones. I mean, shit, he might not have that many years left, but shit, you know, he looked like he still got some tread on there. But then you build your defense, man. Like, listen, what my, my thing with JJ is he can play the quarterback position. That's obvious. And on top of that, he won the biggest game at his level. And you have a formula on how to build a team if you want to win with a guy like JJ. That's what people need to start looking more into. All right, how did they win? All right, boom, that's how we need to do. And, and as he gets older, I'm sure he'll progress into being able to, you know, read defenses better, start throwing. And that, and that goes for any of the quarterbacks, to be real. The longer they're in the, seat, in, the, in the NFL, you expect them to get better. You know what I mean? But sometimes it just doesn't happen. The situation just has to be right. I think we need to start focusing more on that. You know, like, can we get the situation right around our rookie quarterback? You know what I'm saying that's my opinion. But. And I tell you what, as long as we pick one in the first round, whether it's at pick three, pick yeah. 11 or pick yeah. 23 yeah. i'm not going to be too mad yeah you know and I, I feel and i feel the same way like i know i say i don't want bo nicks but the truth is this if you watch bo nicks play and you saw how successful he was what would you do well you would say okay kevin o'connell you're gonna definitely have to change your offense up a little bit you know yeah. all of the all of the long drawn out route trees and shit you actually gonna have to <laughs> go back to a short game you'll have to go to the quick game because that's how he was successful in college. He yeah. was successful in the quick game. All right. So that's what you need to do, Kevin O'Connell. Do that. Switch it up. Get, get your, get your, and, I, and I, I can agree that we have the weapons on the edge because think about this. Bo Nix threw a ton of short passes, but also led the league because his wide receivers led in yards after the catch. Right. So like, you know, your Troy Franklins, those guys were balling, bro. Like they were right. catching the ball three to five yards, but then they were taken off. And that's cool. We have Justin Jefferson that can do that. We have Jordan Addison that can do that. I'm okay with that. I'm just saying, though, man, like, I think rather than scouting, like, just the player alone, we also got to look at, okay, can our front office actually, are they willing to switch shit up to fit around this player? The, per the perfect example, man, is the Ravens and the 49ers. They their organization did a great job of bringing in young quarterbacks and molding shit around their guy. Yes. You know what I mean, like like the Ravens didn't try to act like Lamar Jackson was Joe Flacco in his prime. They did it. Right. They switched up and started running RPO, started doing all this extra shit. And and so and and so like so much with the uh, 49ers, too. You know what I mean? Like that. It's, it's, it's smart coaching, man. That's how you got to win, bro. And that's why. I look at J.J. McCarthy like, shit, man, there's nothing to build your team what, what works for him. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't want fuck that up, Bo Dix, but I mean, if it happens, hey, something you got to do. What up, Anthony? And, and, and real quick, too, Yogi, and then I'll let you go on this, because how you feel about this? Speaking of Michael Penix, because people like Michael Penix. Well, another thing that worries me with Michael Penix is this. He's left-handed. Now, yeah. People might say that that might not mean much, but it does because your, your offense is definitely going to have to move a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to have to shift your offense a little bit and think yeah. about this. We got, we got the best tackle on the other, on the other side. That's going to be, that's not his blind side anymore. Michael Penix actually is going to be looking that way because he's left-handed. So now we got Brian O'Neill. Like, how you going to handle that? I mean, is that something, I mean, there's just, there's just a lot of shit that's going to come into play. When, when you go with a left-handed quarterback, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, hey, look, man, there's a bunch of shit to think about, but as long as we get it right, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> sure. As long as we get it right, I don't give a damn. <laughs> For sure. uh, he said, I think y'all are wrong about May. If you put May on that LSU team, um, we would be talking about us drafting Williams at two or three. Oh, really? You think, so you saying like May would have been, you saying May would have been the number one pick? in the draft if he was on the LSU team? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. We'll see. see. For me, you can't do that. 
Yeah, me neither. You can't do the, well, if May was on LSU, well, he wasn't. Right. What did May do with the tools he had provided to him? When it came down to make the plays, when it was time to make the plays, yeah. did he or did he not do it? Nope. He, he, he chose to go where he went. He, the weapons were there. Did he make the plays with the weapons he had? I mean, he had a really good wide receiver in Tez Walker and, and the running back. I mean, yeah. the running back really good, too. I think he's like a freshman or something. He's decent. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I think people are holding on to this is what it is with Drake May. Because, like, I'm going to tell you right now, think about this. I want y'all to think about this, y'all. Because I know a lot of people are holding on to Drake May from not this past year, but the year before. Right. They're, they're thinking about the 2022 season. That's where people are like hanging on to Drake May because that's when his hype came because he actually had a really good season. But if you were to look at Drake May just this, like say this was Drake May's senior year and this was supposed to be his breakout year, Brand, this man would be like a fourth round pick, bro. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, bro. Like straight up. Like if you look, if you're going off his numbers and shit, like he would literally be a fourth round pick, bro. Like facts. You know what I'm saying? Like what it is, is he got so much hype last season, you know, not this past, a 2022 season, he got so much hype to where his name, kind of same thing with Caleb Williams, you know, uh, winning the Heisman that same year. Him and Caleb Williams were balling out in 2022. And that's what, and it carried on. And now he had a mediocre ass year. Like literally, man, Drake May had a mediocre ass year, man. But yet, you know, his, it, the hype is just, it just carried on. That's all it is. And people still believe that May is the truth. And, and, and listen, I, let's make this clear. I've said this a thousand times, man. If we get May, I'm May gang, man. Yeah. Like, I just want to make that clear. <laughs> I'm buying the jersey. I'm repping. Like, we hanging the jersey up behind us. Like, we, we going extra, bro. People are going to be pissed because I'm going to be May, I'm, I'm May gang. You feel me? I'm arguing with anybody who got a problem with my boy. But. I'm just going to talk about what we need to talk about right now because he's not our quarterback at the moment. And I'm going to tell you, like, I hope we don't go that route. But if we do it, like me and Yogi said, we riding for whoever the hell yeah. we draft. Like it, it, Until we draft him, to me, Drake May is Will Levis yeah. all over. Like, like, listen, if I see if I see Bo Nix come across the stage and where I'm riding, bro, it's Bo Gang. You hear me? Like, facts. I'm going to look for every good thing Bo Nix does and hope that he <laughs> translates to the man. Like, can't nobody tell me Bo Nix ain't the best. You hear me? Like, y'all know how I go. Like, come on, man. I'm a Vikings, I'm a Vikings fan to the bone gristle, bro. Like, once we, once we draft a player, it's a wrap. Nobody better say shit about him while I'm talking on here because we going in on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, facts. <laughs> and and, and y'all know how rap grinds, you know, after the, the draft. Thursday night, there's going to be a video popping about. I'm telling you, we pop it, bro. Like, facts, Bo Mahomes, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Ain't nobody better than this, but Drake, who? Shit, Jaden, who, man? You got me fucked up. <laughs> rap nah, supervisor's going to be like, hey, rap, we can't have you <laughs> popping bottles in the office. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, look, man. Hey, look, you know, what makes me happy is that we got rid of Kirk and now we can just embrace who we get. You know what I mean? And think yeah. about this. You know, shout out the shout out to Dustin Baker from Vikes now because he had a good point this morning, man. I watched one of their lives, man. Shout out to them fellas, man. I really, I really respect them guys, man. Them guys really be grinding, man. They part of the Vikings community. They've been doing this shit longer than me, to be real with you. So, you know, I'm always gonna tip my hat to them fellas. But I'm gonna tell you, man, he said something that really made a ton of sense. Think about this. We move up and we get whoever the hell it is, it doesn't matter. Whoever you feel like in your head. You know what I'm saying? Think about this, bro. By the time we realize that it's not the guy, it doesn't matter. We're already going to have our picks back and we'll be able to do it again. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the truth. Before we realize it's not the guy, man, because it's, it's going to take about two to three years yeah. before you actually say, I right, we're giving up on him. You know what I'm saying? So it's it, about that time we got our picks back. We could do it all over again, man, until we get it. We don't want that to happen, but that is. You know what I mean? That is, he said, somebody said too much cursing. And then my boy Joey said, not enough cursing. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, you know, we got potty mouth over here, man, sometimes. So if, yeah. if it's too much cursing for you, I apologize. You know, hey, I can't beep it out. You know what I mean? Because that's just how I talk sometimes, especially hey, when I'm talking about my Vikings. But so. check it out. Look how much the 49ers gave up to get Trey Lance. Yeah. Vikings fans, do not be afraid to give up future draft capital or capital to get your guy. Because yeah. 
they they rolled the dice, they reached, it didn't work out, but they're still in a good position now from when they made that uh trade and gave up all that capital. So shout out my shout out my guy too evil with the five, man. He said I was sitting next to him at the end of the Buccaneers game last year. This man was pissed. I was a little concerned. Trey JJ and Drive Bo Dix, man. Shout out my guy too evil, man. For so <laughs> man, too evil, a real one. <laughs> shout out to evil. Hey, look, too evil. I'm telling you right now, listen, bro. If we do get Bo Nix, me and you, we're buying, we're ordering our Bo Nix jerseys together, bro. You getting a jersey. Cause listen, I'm gonna tell you right now, you know what too evil gonna do? If we draft Bo Nix, he going to say, fuck that trade Bo Nix and get somebody. He going he gonna to turn on Bo Nix's ass. I feel it coming, man. Hey, listen, to evil. If we draft Bo Nix, I'm calling you the night of the draft. If it happens, I'm calling your phone. Pick up. I know you at work, but pick up because we going. Um, hey, we're ordering the jerseys together. We're ordering them that night, bro. Like facts. I want to make sure we get them at the same exact time. So that you can send me a picture of you with yours on. I'm gonna send you a pic. We're gonna we're gonna make a collage, man. Cause we, you know, we're so many miles away. But man, you my boy, man. Shout out to you, man, for sure. <laughs> and we're gonna wear them together at Skull Fest too. Uh, uh, too even. That's a fact. We do that at two. We we'll do that at Skull Fest, man. Shout out to everybody in the building, man, for sure. But I can't wait though, man. I'm 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 happy. I'm happy that we're in this position. You know, I said this is a good. I, I said this in the in the video I did. This is a good uh, Dominic. Hey, Dominic Revin from Michael Penix Jr. I hear you, bro. I hear you, bro. I see you, Dominic. I see you, man. Shout out my guy, man. MPJ, let's go. <laughs> MPJ, man. Look, Michael Penix Jr. So you know what's crazy? I gotta I gotta say this real quick, uh, yo, get. I, I wanted to know how you feel. You were you were in the building. You were in the building the other night. You know what I mean? And. And and this is for you, Dominic, because you know your boy, your boy Purple Papa, man. The ones who know Purple Papa, he called in, and um, you know he was talking, and the ones who were in the building, y'all know what he was saying. Then he was saying, "Don't be surprised if the Vikings were to keep both first round picks." Now, me, I don't think that's an option. All right, I don't think it's an option. I don't think they would have did that move this soon, like this early in the process, just to say we're keeping hey, eleven and. Hey, rap, I'll be right, right, right back. All right. Yeah, like I, I just don't think that I just don't think that they would have did that, and and this this early in the game just to say we're keeping eleven and twenty three. But I gotta say this, man. You know, the boy, the boy had a had a decent point, and this goes to Michael Penix Jr. Like I say this, and I said this in a video was, I don't know if I would be absolutely mad, right, if we were to. Like I'm, I would be pissed to be real if we don't move up and get a guy. But uh, but like when it comes to Drake May, because y'all know how I feel about Drake May. If we were to get Michael Penix Jr., if we were to get a good defender and be able to get Michael Penix Jr. like two players in the first, like I'm talking about like a, a actual you know generational type defender that possibly could change the game for us, and a Michael Penix, I might be okay. You know what I mean? Because I know next year if it don't work out or the year after that, we could just try again. You know I mean, we didn't have to really, we didn't give up anything to move up. We didn't get up future first round picks so we can just do the shit again. So, um, I mean, that's not the route I want to go. But when I sat back and thought about what he said, it actually made a little, it, it made a little sense. I don't think it's going to happen like that because they wouldn't have did it. You know what I mean? That What they would have did was just pick that 11 and then they would have just traded back into the first, the night of the draft because they would have been able to do that. But again, I don't know, man. He said, I feel like Penix is a second rounder. Getting him first round is a reach that, hey, I could see it. Yeah, yeah, I could agree with that. I could agree with that. You know, it's for Sunday sure. fun day. I had to get a... <laughs> my boy had to go get my boy had to go get a sip, sip in it. <laughs> had to go get a sip, sip. <laughs> Dominic said, no, you're not here with me, boy. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, we hear you, man. Michael Penix gang, man. God, dang. Michael Penix gang. Um, Kyle said, sorry, I'm late. Vaped out here in Cali. Let's go, man. Shout out my guy Kyle, man. Appreciate you. People say no thanks on Penix. No thanks on Penix. Um, you know, I thought about Penix and holding his injuries against him, man. I had to fall back off that. Um, due to the fact that he hasn't been injured for two years. You know what right. I'm saying? Like he hasn't been injured for two years, man. I think I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt on the injuries. I mean, obviously the future, I mean, obviously the past is there. Shout out father in the building, man. I see your father, man. My bad. I don't know if I shouted you out earlier, man. Father in the building. My boy Crown in the building. 
my boy Crown. What going on, Crown? He said, I like Penix. I'm sorry. I saw him kill all season. I just can't I just can't wipe away. Hold on. Let me see what he said. I just can't wipe all that away because of one game. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people were judging him off of the uh off of that national championship game back as you know. You know, you know my you know my my Wolverines made him look made him look sad out there, man. Made him look ugly. And he was missing a lot of throws though. That's what that's what concerned me. And you know, we have this big complaint about Kirk Cousins. It's the big games. It's like you can't win in the big games. And then that's what we that's the last image we get from Michael Penix, which really, which really kind of made my mind up too. But you know, I'm trying to forgive him, man. I'm trying to forgive him. But that ain't gonna happen, bro. We're going up. You feel me? Like we definitely going up. Yeah, we need that news to break. Yeah, we need that to break. Now, think about this. What if Caleb, what if the Bears didn't get Caleb with? Bro, what if the Bears like Drake May? Now, me, because you text me earlier. Yeah. And I was telling you, I'm like, listen, <laughs> I don't see it happening, bro. Listen, Ryan Paul's, man, he a brother, man. He ain't going for that. You feel me? Like, my boy going to get Caleb Williams, man. Like, like that's a fact. If he going to go out, he going out on his damn shield. You hear me? Like, for sure, I don't think he would make no dumbass move like that. But again, you never know, man. Weirder shit has happened. Yeah. Weirder shit has happened, man. You that, I, I think the internet would explode if Caleb Williams doesn't go number one. Yeah. Yeah. But what if Williams said, man, I don't want to play in, in Chicago, bro. It's too cold. I'm just not, you know what I mean? What if he was, like, acting like a little douchebag? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I mean, they. What if they went Marvin Harrison one still, and grabbed yeah, a quarterback they, at pick nine? Yeah, because they they have the flexibility to do that too, which is crazy. Like, right. yeah, you got a point, bro. Like, you got a point. Like, what if they and and Bo Nix? Think about this. They sent a ton of people to his pro day. Yeah. Like to be honest with you, like I think the Bears were the only team at that boy pro day. You hear me? Like for sure, because I know we wasn't. Yeah, right. That's a fact. They made it clear we wasn't. We didn't have a soul in the building. But I'm gonna tell you who did. They I seen the article, man. The Bears sent a whole a whole group of guys out to Bo Nix's pro day. So you know you got it. Damn, Yogi on to something, man. Hold up. Uh, uh, um, imagine this. Imagine this. Right. Poles is reaching out to the Commanders right now. Hey, you want you want pick one? This is what you gotta do to get it. Freaking whatever, so the commanders could pick Caleb Williams at one. Bears are at pick two. Marvin Harrison. Patriots pick three. So we could either still trade up there and get Drake. I three would be the spot. Three would be the spot. Yeah. Yeah. Then you got your choice, Jaden Daniels or Drake May. Yeah. <laughs> man, y'all heard Mike Sports vibe, man. Get them likes up, man. Tap in, man. Hit the like button. It's free. Tap in with you. Um, Two Evil said, uh, it wouldn't be the first time that a team sent nobody to the pro day, but draft the player, use misdirection. That is a, you got a point, yeah. Two Evil. I could agree with that. I could definitely agree with that. Good take on that. Good take on that. I feel you 100% on that. I, I mean, look, it's about trying to bluff and play poker. Yeah. You know, that was the thing too, like, when when the when the when the pressers came out with KOC and Quasi and like people were like, oh, he said we might not draft a quarterback. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like bullshit. When I saw that, I was like, man, you man, if you believe that man, slap yourself. <laughs> like for real, man. Slap yourself, man. He's saying that. And, and the crazy part is you could call that bluffing, but that was the weakest bluff ever. Like if you've ever played poker or something, you know when a motherfucker just lot like, like, bro, come on, dog. I know you ain't got nothing in that hand, boy. Stop it. I'm matter of fact, you you do. I right, all in. What's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up? Show me, goddammit. <laughs> For sure. That's how weak that shit was when he said that. He didn't even believe himself when he said that shit, man. For sure. You could see it all in his face. You know what I mean? So we definitely going up to get the guy. That's a fact. Um, hey, shout, shout out, out to the 260 man. people in the building. Man, we got 260 in the building, man. Let's go, man. He said, scold to all my brothers and sisters everywhere. Shout out from Japan. Hey, shout out from Japan. My wife used to live in Japan. Let's go. Shout out to you for sure, man. That's lit. 
We got Japan in the house, man. Let's go, man. I got to get you A. Let's go, man. Shout out to you. I appreciate the five bone, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. We going to get our guy. We going to get our guy, man, for sure. I can't wait. Uh, let's see, man. Let's see. Sal dog D O double. If the bears take Bo Nix, no, nah, no, nah, I don't think the bears would take Bo Nix. I want, but Yogi got a point though, man. I want to go back to that. I want to go back and touch on that. Like I, I think, cause that shit makes the, to me, I ain't gonna lie. That makes a lot of sense. They have a ton of flexibility. Yeah. Um, because they, cause I'll go one even further. They could say, fuck that. We're not trading with commanders. Like we staying at one. You know what I'm saying? Or, I mean, I might make, because the commanders, well, no, you know what? It actually might be better for them to trade with the commanders because they know that, the, like you said, the commanders aren't going to go wide receiver. They're going quarterback regardless. Yeah. So they actually, that would, you actually smart. What I would do if I was the Bears would, like you said, trade with the commanders. Go to number two, pick Marvin Harrison Jr. You know what I'm saying? Get your so-called generational talent wide receiver. I mean, that's what he's being called. You're still taking a chance regardless, but the boy can ball. You feel me? Like, you take that chance on a guy like that. And and then pick nine, like you said, bruh, you can get the Bo Nick. You'll have the chances of the Bo Nicks. Um, you may even have a chance at McCarthy. Maybe. You never know. You know what I mean? You just never kind of know how to draft him, but you may have to. I, I would throw his name in there. You'll have the Michael Penix. You know, oh. shit. Hell, they might like Spencer Rattler. We don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a clap for that. <laughs> Because what else do they need? They need D-line. So uh, what's that D-lineman on the Commanders? Um, um, Sweat? You're talking about Sweat? No, uh, the other guy. Uh, let, me, let me get his name real quick. Uh, someone probably knows. Shout out my skull, bro, man. He tell y'all hit that like button. Uh, shout out Sab Jr. He said this channel is lit. I love it. Hey, facts. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. For sure. I'm glad you were able to find the channel, man. Shout out to you. Um, shout out Seven Dragons with the 499. He said, possibility bears might, hold on, possibility bears might shock us with the first pick, LOL. Hey, yep. you got a point, Dra Seven Dragons, for sure. That's what we're saying, too. Like, they could be throwing a curveball. Listen, when I think about it, who, who, are, you, who are you about to say, um, Yogi? Who's, what is his name? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm still trying to find it. Because I know they got sweat and they have uh, pain. Pain. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you want you want the you want the one spot? We'll trade back. Give us pain. Then you get a defense alignment, yep. wide receiver, and a quarterback. Yep. Shit. I take pain. <laughs> or but if you think about it, yeah, what are you about to say? Jonathan Allen. Ray Pettis brought it up. Oh yeah. 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 Shout out Todd in the building too. I see you, Todd, man. Shout out to you, bro. Another, another, like what Seven Dragons though, like I agree, like they they possibly could shock us, like me and you were talking, like everybody thinks that they know, but like the truth is, we really don't know, bro. Right. Like we really have no damn idea. You know what I mean? And 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 it's the thing. I even watched Bears podcast. Well, there's one Bears podcast that I really rock with, man. Bears Central, like them the bros over there, man. I really rock with them fellas. And when I ever want some Bears info and try to see what the vibes like, I go to them, man. They they be over there talking talking they talk man hey you know what i'm saying they go in you feel me and they was on all night last night. You, you tap in with them yeah they're my boys man they're my boys right there man we we definitely gonna work we're gonna do some work during the season but yeah man like and i'm i'm gonna I'm tell you i'm gonna tell you like they're okay with the move they they accept it you feel me but again think about this the bears know how to f up a, a draft pick bro like and, and they all in the green like the bear the, they know how to mess up a draft pick bro and to think that that Caleb Williams is the thing to do, bro, that might be the mistake that they make. Like that might they might need to change it up and think about it. Like, OK, how has our history been going? We always think that we're getting we're moving up. Now, the Mitch Trubisky was a reach. I'm sorry, bro. Mr. Trubisky was a reach, bro. Because who was in that draft? The, like they had three opportunities to get a franchise quarterback in that draft. Because that draft had who? Deshaun Watson, right? Deshaun Watson was in that draft. Um, Patrick Mahomes was in that draft. And there was there was another person in that draft, bro. There was another person in that draft where they fucked it up three times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, facts, <laughs> bro. They had three jobs to get it. And they went and got Mitchell Trubisky, bro. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Let's hope that the Vikings don't do no shit like that. You know what I mean? Like that to me, that's the trade up and get a Bo Nix type shit. Like that, that's the vibes that gives me. And it could be JJ McCarthy too. I mean, it could give me those same type of vibes. Like, hey, trade up, get JJ McCarthy, and he turns into like a Mitch Trubisky, which to be real, I'm I'm gonna say it. Bro, I used to hate playing against Mitch Trubisky, bro. Dog, Mitch Trubisky used to have games against us. Like, he didn't do it against everybody, but, like, when he played the Vikings, bro, Mitch Trubisky used to always get on my fucking nerves, bro. Like, he would turn into, like, Michael Daniel Vick Jones. slash. Yeah, like, it's just like, yo, like, what's up? Like, you don't play like this no other time until you play the damn Vikings. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, you want now you want to play, like, the number two pick in the draft when you play us. Fuck out of here, right. man. I mean, like, for sure. But, yeah, man. Hey, they could, they could fuck it up, man. Shout out my boy Sodak, man. I miss my boy Sodak, man. Shout out Sodak in the house, man, with the 1999. Let's go, man. We miss you, man. Hey, listen, Sodak, I hope everything's going good, bro. I hope the move went smooth. I hope everything's smooth, man, and you set up. You're comfortable. You're chilling. Just in time, bro, for the new era of the Minnesota Vikings, man. Shout out my guy Sodak, man, for sure, man. That's my boy. That's my boy, man. Tap in with Sodak, man. Anybody, I think he's in Minnesota now, but South Dakota... If you, if you need a tattoo or anything, man, reach out to Sodak, man. Sodak do great work. You hear me? If you need any ink, man, that's the guy to holla at, man. So anybody need ink, reach out to my boy. My boy got it. Have you guys ranked the QBs 1 through 10 or anything like that? Um, yeah, like, I mean, shit, we, I mean, we really 10 to me is too much as a Vikings fan because we not going that far back. I'm going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Angel in the building. Shout out Angel. But we'll, we'll do it right now. We'll, we'll do one through five. You know what I mean? Shout out Norse in the building. My guy Norse was heading. We'll do one through five because, and the reason why I say that is because there's no need for us to talk about the 10th best quarterback because we're not getting them. You know what I'm saying? And nor should we. <laughs> you feel me? Like that, nor should we. We shouldn't be going past number four to number three, to be honest with you. But shit, we'll do five just to be nice. You know what I'm saying? We do five just to be nice. But I'll let you go first, Yogi, man. Let's go. One through five, man. Who's your guys? Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Bo Nix, J.G. McCarthy, Michael Penix. There you go. That's his five right there. That's his five. All right. My five is I'm going to go Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, J.J. McCarthy, Drake May. And then I'll go Michael Penix Jr. So that, that's my five right there, man. And that order is where I would be happy, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if we get, I really only, I really want the top four, one of the top four. But if we get Michael Penix Jr., it would still give me somewhat of a feeling inside that he could be successful. I just wouldn't be like super hyped up like I would if we got one of those other four guys. So me and me and Yogi are pretty much on the same page. Either he has Bo Nix and his, and I have, I have JJ, I have a, uh, Michael Penix. So that's really the only difference. He has, he has Bo Nix ranked above. Um, oh, you got Bo Nix ranked above uh, Drake May, right? You don't even got Drake May. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. He don't even got Drake May. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yogi, said, Yogi said, F that Dr F the May train, man. Like, I ain't on no damn May. Y'all done lost y'all damn marbles, man. <laughs> Hey, he's in my tier tier four group. Hey. Six. <laughs> hey, hey, D.O. Double said, man, Yogi, you need to take a nap, man. Bo Nix, like, <laughs> stop it, man. Hey, tell our boy, go night-night, man. Say, hey, that's too evil guy, too, man, Bo Nix. Hey, there, there we go, man. Hey, y'all drop y'all list, man. Drop y'all five in the chat, man. Drop y'all five and I'll post it, man. We'll talk about it. So we got two evil, two evils first one. Bo Nix, Sam Hartman. Jaden Daniels, Spencer Rattler, and Caleb Williams, number five. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell I would draft a Sam Hartman in my motherfucking ain't no way in hell. He'll be he'd be like he 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 probably gonna be a um he probably be like a fifth round pick though or something. He'd probably be a fifth round pick. He might be decent. I know one thing, he gonna get the girls. That's a fact. Like whatever team, <laughs> hey, whatever team he go on, them boy gonna market that boy. They better. 
he better get a head and shoulders uh commercial or something. Right. Hey, he gonna get he gonna get them hoes. You hear me? Yeah, <laughs> like, <call> <laughs> hey, facts. Hey, they gonna be uh, all they need to do is put my boy out in the, to the front of the stadium. Shit, man. Shit, they gonna have all the girls come and watch him play. If they were smart, they would start his ass. I'm gonna keep it real, straight up. Uh, let's see, man. We got a uh, shout out to you guys. Shout out to Boom Boom Skull who put me on with you guys. Hey, shout out David, man. Shout out Boom Boom, man. My guy Boom is Boom Boom in the house. Is Boom Boom in the house, man? Where Boom Boom at, man? All right, shout out my guy Boom Boom, man. Tell, hey, hey, David, tell Boom Boom R.A.P. said what's up, man. Shout out my guy Boom Boom, man. That's my boy. For sure, man. All right, so we got, uh, we got, uh, let's see here. Let me see who else dropped a list. All right, so Timothy dropped his list. He got Daniels, May, JJ, Penix, and Williams. Damn, so a lot of people got Williams. So, like, Williams being at the bottom of y'all list, like, would y'all be mad if we got, would y'all be mad? All right, I got Byron on here on X. Let me see. Damn, I forgot. I be getting comments on X that I can't see here. Let me go. I got you, Byron. Byron got Daniels, Caleb. McCarthy, May, Rattler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy is I almost slipped Rattler in my list, bro, after I've been watching him the past, like, week. Like, I was watching him last week, and I'm like, yo, that, I mean, I, I think I kind of, and, and it's crazy, is Rattler, people are laughing, but I'm like, Rattler doesn't play like Mahomes, obviously. Like, I'm not comparing him to it, but what I will say is, like, the way he moves, like, his body movements are Mahomes-esque. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you watch him, like, and you just kind of deleted the helmet, like, and all that out of your, out of your head and not knowing you would be like, yo, the way he walks, cause you know, Mahomes has a certain way he walks and moves and runs out the pocket and throws and shit. And Rattler does look close, does look close to him. Not to say that he's going to be anything like Mahomes, but still, yeah, it was weird. But I kind of, I don't know, man, Rattler, I almost put him, I almost put him in my list over Penix, man, but not quite yet. Not quite yet. We'll see. I, I think, I feel like I need to watch some more of them for me to be confident enough to do it. And he plays with South Carolina. He plays right up the street where I live. I mean, like, he, he literally plays 45 minutes up the road, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, but still yet, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I should have went to the games and watched it. All right, we got Jaden Daniels. All right, so the boy, we got Jaden Daniels. Let's see. Drake May, J.J. McCarthy, uh, Caleb Williams, and Bo Nix. Okay. Okay. North Fierce got Daniels, McCarthy, May, Williams, Penix. Okay. Shit, we got some, we got some shit. No way Nix is top four or Penix. Yeah. May is Mullins 2.0. God damn. <laughs> Not Mullins. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not Mullins 2.0. God damn. So so you pretty much saying we need a you you pretty much saying if, if it comes down to Drake May, we just need to go ahead and stick with Sam Darnold. That's pretty much what you're saying, right? That's pretty much what you're saying. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, for sure. I and Pasta said, don't know if you guys covered this already. Shout out for the five bone. Uh he said, but if if we but if the trade to the top four don't work, would you guys go Penix at 11 or at 23. Yeah. So I was talking about that earlier. I mean, how would you feel like, so let's say this yoga, I'll let you go first is let's say the Vikings do keep, and, and both of us obviously feel like that's not going to be the case, but let's just say it is the case. How would you handle this? If you were the GM and you were, you were in the front office saying that, Hey, we're sticking, we're going to keep 11 and 23. How would you go about it? And that, and now we're going to say that the, our top five quarterbacks are gone. I mean, our top, at least top four are gone. Uh, see, I, I, and, I, and real quick, Yogi, for this, May has to be in your list because realistically, you know, he's going to be gone. So what you'll have to do, because you realistically, I mean, we, we, I mean, it's not absolute, but we probably know that Bo Nix and Penix would be more available than a May at 11. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. for sure. Here, I would, I'd pick Bo Nix at 11 and a defensive player at 23, or I'd pick Byron Murphy at 11 and Michael Penix at 23. Okay. Those Cause you feel like the Broncos would probably get Bo at 12. Correct. If he felt like that, I mean, which he is going to be there. So obviously 
they would probably feel like they don't even have to move if that if that's their guy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if they're on Bo right now, they could stay at 12 and just get Bo Nix. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm the same way. So I, I'm I'm with you. So what I would do is I would get the best player available defensive defensive wise at 11, particularly a cornerback. So whoever the top corner is that, you know, people want to want the Vikings to get. That's what I would get. And then I would get Michael Penix at 23. Yep. See, my thing is, I don't think Quasey makes this move if the move is not to move up. Right. Because if, right. if, if he if you were going to try to move back into the first round to get a quarterback in the first round, I think that would have waited on draft day, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but on draft day, he would have picked a de defensive player and traded back into the first to get a quarterback and yeah. not trade now if that was the move so i yeah like the move was done too early the timing right. the timing just the timing just makes it seem like it's happening like we're moving up in the draft like the, the the timing just is what throws it off because like you said yeah like what you did you could have did that draft night like you could have stayed right. at 11 and then you could have just after your 11 pick just just wheeled and dealed with somebody and moved back up into the first you know what i mean um, or maybe not even had to move back up that far to 23. Cause if you were going to get a quarterback, you could have maybe just moved up to number 30 or maybe 33, you know what I mean? So, um, uh, which, which if things were to go South, you possibly could trade that 23rd pick and move back down a little bit. If you do, I mean that we're talking plan C and D here, but you know what I mean? Like if, if it comes down to that, if it gets down to the nitty gritty, then I mean that that might even be a pot. They be might get rid of that shit again, and you know, in Quasi, well, shit. Let's get rid of twenty three. Let's collect a third round pick. Um, move move out into like pick thirty five, thirty six or something. Quarterback probably still gonna be there that we can get. Whatever. I don't want that to happen. Like that'd be bullshit. But still, yeah, yeah I ain't go. I ain't gonna be surprised. Nothing this goddamn team do at this point. You <laughs> hear me? Like, I ain't gonna be surprised at all, bro. I'm gonna be mad, but I'm not gonna be surprised. I'm gonna tell you yeah. that right now, man, for sure, man. <laughs> I will. I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna say that again. I will be mad, but I will not be surprised, man. I'm telling you, this team tends to piss us the hell off a lot. You hear me? Like especially Quasi. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, the past couple of drafts, he hasn't been on my good side, bro. Like, like last draft, I was sitting there like this when we were on the clock. Like, I wish this motherfucker would, bro. Like, come on. I, I was waiting for him to trade back. Well, I was about to smash my TV or something, man. Like, for real, bro. But he made the right move last year. I'm going to keep it real. Shout out Jordan Addison, man. Uh, we got a five from Base Jiren, man. Shout out to you in the building. Um, He got, he got, uh, I... All right, so number one is Williams, number two, Daniels, number three, May, number four, Penix, number five, Mid McCarthy. <laughs> Mid McCarthy, God damn, y'all be, <laughs> be dissing my boy. <laughs> y'all be dissing my boy, man. Come on, man. Y'all be dissing my boy, man. <laughs> Hopefully the Vikings are dumb enough to reach for JJ or else KOC and Quasi are getting fired. God damn. Man, you know what, man? The best story in the world would be for J.J. McCarthy to become a Viking and turn into the next Tom Brady-esque yes type quarterback and just be a fucking dog. You hear me? He going to bring I, all of us together, man. I would be okay with it. He going to bring all of us together, man. You know what I mean? Like, J.J. McCarthy, listen, think about this, guys. Shout out Nathan in the building. Shout out shout out Gavin in the building. Bro, J.J. is insane. Shout out to y'all, man, for sure. Appreciate y'all. Think about this, Yogi. JJ McCarthy listens to Bob Marley before every game. Bro, Bob Marley's his favorite artist. Like, come on, man. No woman, no cry. You hear me, man? Like, <laughs> let's go, man. We jamming. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all need to let y'all need to y'all need to fall back off my boy, man. My boy is all about could this be love? Like, is he all about love, peace, and happiness, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Y'all gotta chill out. Don't do that. You feel me? Drake May, like when I watch his his interviews, like first of all, Drake May has trouble talking. Yeah, I mean, like for yeah. sure. He just has trouble talking. Like he's 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 not the best interviewer in the world. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Like he's stumbling over words every five seconds. Like the guy, guy definitely talking isn't his best thing. You know, hopefully football, he's a little better at that. But <laughs> hey, shout out to the six people that uh sub to Fat Boy Football Focus. Thank you since we've been on. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, for thank sure. You. For sure, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Make sure y'all go subscribe to it, man. It's pinned in the comments, pinned at the top of the comments. 
It's the pin message, man. Go subscribe to him. We trying to grow that channel over there because me and him going to be working a lot in the season. So we definitely need that to be pumping. So shout out my guy, man. Shout out Dylan in the building, man. Dylan said, I got Caleb, number two, JD5, number three, JJ, number four, Michael Penix Jr., number five, Spencer Rattler. Okay. Okay. I like that, Dylan. Shout out to Dylan in the building, man. My twin. Let's go, man. Hey, yeah, I, I like that. I like that. I think Caleb definitely the number one, for sure. My boy Nick said McCarthy is already rookie of the year. That's a fact, man. And once I heard McCarthy play, listen to uh, listen to goddamn uh, uh, Bob Marley, man. He won my heart over already. He already was my boy, but that just won me over even more. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta love the kid, man. <laughs> they talk about he could be Zach Wilson 2.0 uh, for sure. Uh, when do you think Justin Jefferson's deal will get done? Hopefully it gets done sooner than later, uh, imposter. For sure. Hopefully it gets done sooner than later. Like I'm hoping, I'm hoping it gets done after the draft. After the draft. Yeah, I was gonna say that. I, yeah, right after the draft. Cause I mean, he has the right to see what we do. I give him yeah. that. If that is the case, like if his agent is sitting back and saying, listen, we just want to see who you get. I, and, and and I thought about this too. My opinion is he probably wants Jaden Daniels. What do you think? So the other night we had some, we had a, uh, I forgot who brought it up. It might've been D woods, but we had a spicy take of why JJ hasn't signed a deal yet. Let's talk about it. And it could be because of that whole paternity test stuff. Oh, why sign a big old bag when there's someone out there trying to claim baby daddy drama to take the take the man's money so he might be waiting on that to get all cleared up wow that's this is just spicy. speculation but hey we know how baby mama drama could be could be true hey that hey you know what that's a good point bro because once he signs that deal boy hey, that child support gonna hit a little different boy <laughs> <Right. I'm> gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that judge going to chop him so hard with that book. Boy, that judge going to say, how much you just signed for? Okay, yeah. all right. So, yeah. So word on the to... street, she, yeah. she ain't trying to do a paternity test. Yeah. So she's just claiming the baby his. And JJ's well, hitting him you. with the Michael Jackson, the baby ain't mine. The kid is not my son. <laughs> hitting him with that. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> for sure. For sure, I don't blame him. That could, hey, you might got a point there, though. You might got a point. So, you might got a point. We'll keep an eye, eye out on that. <laughs> Randy Lewis, Randy, shout out, shout out, Randy in the building. He said, anyone that knows football knows Knicks is not good. Weak arm with no deep ball, can't read a defense post snap, uh, relies on screen passes and yak yards. The average defense he played was ranked 80th. Yeah, I mean, He's definitely, again, I go back to when people talk about J.J. McCarthy having to have a running game and a wide receiver, you know, like, again, that's the thing. He was successful in that. And, and he, Bo Nick, and I'm not a Bo Nix fan, Randy, by the way, but Bo Nix was successful in that scheme. So, like, whatever team drafts him, they need to, they need to, add, they need to consider that. That's all I'm saying. It's simple as that. Consider that because you try to bring him in. And you try to run a different type of offense where he has to go through his progressions, he will turn into Mac Jones really quick. You know what I'm saying? Like he's gonna be Mac Jones that's really quick. You feel me? His ass gonna be in the UF of L. That's a fact. Like, I ain't gonna <laughs> fast as hell, you know what I'm saying? For sure. And that goes for all these mugs, to be real with you. Number two, pick on the way, baby. Let's go, Marty. Shout out to you. You guys are more likely to trade to five for JJ. That's cool with me, Brian. I'm straight with that. You know what I'm saying? I like I like JJ McCarthy. I'm a boy. So shit, you only, ain't you ain't hurt my feelings. If those two picks, I'd be okay with it. Yeah, mother tell me we get in. Mother tell me we get in JJ McCarthy. You ain't hurt my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Neff in the building, man. Nephew in the building. Let's go. Give me two claps and a Rick Flair. Joe Damon said, Caleb, Jaden, Drake, JJ, and I like Joe Milton's big arm, but I have to go with Penix. Yeah, Joe Milton. I got a video on Joe Milton, man. I like Joe Milton, too. Joe Milton's a sleeper, bro. You know, he, you, Joe Milton, you got to coach him. 
Like, you ain't want to throw Joe Milton right out there, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. Joe Milton going to need about two, three years sitting behind somebody. Some goddamn body. He, he, he'd be a Jordan Love project. Yeah, he like a project. Like, that is where I can agree where – because I'm not, I'm not big on drafting a guy and sitting him for three years and stuff. To me, like, yes, it worked for the Packers. All right? Yes, I get that. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, the times have changed. And I feel like there, it's more likely – for a guy to succeed, in my opinion, if you put him out there and learn, man, like you got to put him out there because the speed of the game, bro, you can't practice that. You know what I mean? Like you really can't, man. Like guys in practice aren't moving like they are out there at, on game day, man. It's, you could try to simulate it, but it's just not the same. And I feel like, you know, these young quarterbacks, man, you got to get them. You got to just throw them out there, man, and see. You'll know, you'll know pretty quickly. You know, you give them one, you give them a half a season or or one good season, man. You'll know if this guy's going to be able to possibly, then you'll really be able to gauge the ceiling and, and the floor. We got breaking news. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I didn't expect this. The Browns are signing for, former Raving, Ravens quarterback Tyler Huntley. Oh, yeah. No, no, I seen that earlier. Yeah. that was, well, It happened, it probably happened like an, right before we started the show. Damn. Damn. Me and you were big on that. Me yeah. and you were big on that, man, because we, we love Tyler Huntley. Like, who, for, for the ones who don't know, man, we was, you know what I mean? We Tyler Huntley fans, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we, we Tyler Huntley fans. I feel like, shit, I would have much rather that than goddamn Sam Darnold, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, who again. Huh? <laughs> Didn't they get someone else to him? Um, Jamison Winston? Yeah, they got Jamison Winston. So their their quarterback room is Deshaun Watson, Jameis Winston, now Tyler Huntley, and and DTR. What? Like the? they got a whole room full of brothers, boy. They ain't got now one white quarterback in the room, boy. They going, that, 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 that that QB room, they gonna be having barbecues in that motherfucker. You hear me? Like that shit gonna be lit, man. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit, that quarterback room gonna hit different. Nah, but like I'm glad we didn't get a Jameis Winston though for sure. Yeah, that, I wouldn't have been happy with that. That's Nick Mullins. James, Nick Mullins is Jamison Winston. They're gonna take yeah. deep shots. It's either gonna be, uh, <laughs> it's gonna uh, be like yay or what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's crazy. We liked DTR last year. Remember? Yeah, we did. We was on Man. that DTR train, bro. DTR was a little yeah. He had a little something to him. He had a little hey, something to him. I tell you what, with um, Deshaun Watson, Tyler Huntley, and Jamison Winston in that quarterback room, he's going to be learning a lot. Oh, Byron said rumors are flying around that Watson might be suspended again. Are you? Are you kidding? Yeah, he said rumors are going around that Watson might get suspended again in the NFL. That'd be great. Maybe that's why they're stacking up on quarterbacks. That, that makes more sense because then you'd yeah. have Winston. Huntley as a backup and DTR is three. Yeah. 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 Okay, damn. Man. Wow. Great. Great news, Byron. Appreciate you. Appreciate you dropping that bomb down there. Cause I didn't know that, you know, like during this time of the year, like I'm following Vikings and NFC North teams. Cause I just want to see what they're doing. Cause obviously you got to keep your enemies close. You feel me? Like you got to keep your enemies close. We got to know what the hell they doing, man. What type of yeah. moves they making? You know what I mean? We got to be on top of them to see what we going up against. Um, but yeah, man, sh that's, that's crazy news right there, to be honest with you. And I don't understand why it would happen again, but you know what? He hasn't really turned into what people thought he was going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he, he just, he just hasn't turned into what people thought he was going to do, man. You know what I mean? Um, top 10 picks watching local podcasts. Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, Kurt said, can we hear you guys? Can we hear your guys take on? New wide receiver, Osborne gone. Yeah, let's talk about it, man. So me and Yogi pretty much like the same guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if you so think about it, I'll let Yogi say it first. If you if you had to bring in a new wide receiver in this draft, who you going to get? Troy Franklin or Ricky Purcell? Let's go, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like now, Ricky, now Ricky, I'm not as high on as Yogi, but Troy Franklin, I am. I mean, Troy Franklin just got swagger. Now I'm yeah. saying he he definitely like he he just he's very shifty, man. You know, when I look at wide receivers, um, you know, one thing I, I tend to look at is how their body, their body movement. Like, you know, you can always tell a motherfucker who can dance, right? Yeah. Motherfucker who can dance, 
their body is loose. You know what I mean? That's why some people, the people who can't dance, they're stiff. You know what I mean? They're stiff. They don't know. But a motherfucker who can dance, bro, I'm telling you, their body, the way they body wiggle and stuff. And listen, that actually translate to the football field. I'm telling you, it does. Like that, they just have the moves, man. Like Troy Franklin is just, he just has that type of like talking about making a guy miss. I mean, between him and the other guy, um, Bo Nix's, uh, what is it, his, his uh, adopted brother, those those guys are what made Bo Nix numbers look so good yep. because they would pass the ball for three. He would give it to them three yards in and then they would take the fuck off. Like those dudes were balling, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, facts. They were balling. <laughs> so, shout and out to him, we man. don't have a second round, later round wide receivers, I would say Brendan Rice. and Yeah, Brendan Luke Rice. And Luke McCaffrey. Yeah, Luke McCaffrey. That would be a good one. You know, there's a ton of wide receivers in this draft, though, realistically. Yeah. So, um, you know, like, honestly, man, like, I think you can't go wrong. And to be honest, man, um, you know, I had a lot of faith in, in your boy, man, Jalen Naylor, man. But Jalen Naylor, man... I, I don't know if we can hold on to him again this year. Yeah, I mean, if you can't, like, get I, I really don't know if I can rep for him again this year. I really don't. You know, because 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 we tried and we tried, and he just isn't available for us, bro. Like he isn't, you know. And I know SK loves Tristan. Is he's not him, bro? Yeah, he's just not him. So I mean, you got a good point. Getting rid of KJ Osborne, we do have to get another receiver. But I also want Vikings fans to realize this, because I said this when we winded up getting uh uh Nikhil Harry, because because you know uh, me and me and Papa were talking about it. He's like, man, I love Nikhil Harry. We actually were talking about this on Friday when he called me, and he was like, uh, you know, don't sleep on Nikhil Harry. Like, shoot, you know, we we could still use him. He's still on the team. I don't know. I don't know if he's still on the team as of now, but I think so. But, um, you know, like using him, big body, put him in there. But I'm like, th this is my, this is my, this is my thing. All right. The way our offense is set up. Listen, first of all, let's just throw this out there. We have the best wide receiver in the NFL. All right. Now I'm going to tell you like this, the way that Jordan Addison is looking, it's almost looking like he can damn near be the second best wide receiver in the fucking NFL if he get the right quarterback. You hear me? Like, for wow. like, that's how dangerous we are. On top of you adding a tight end and TJ Hawkinson, once he gets healthy, if he could stay healthy, bro, like, is wide receiver really that crucial? Like, I mean, because you, you don't want to bring in somebody who you're expecting to get a thousand yards or anything because you don't need that. Like, bro, we have two easy thousand yard receivers, bro, between JJ and Jordan Addison. And, and then you Michael got Thomas get uh signed. Uh Michael Thomas. From the Saints? No, I don't think he got signed yet. No, no, no. No. I don't think he got signed yet. Uh Dominic said breaking news. Bears fans are saying they have the best wide receiver duo in the in the NFL. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 they would say some shit like that, you know. But my 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 thing is this. I would, I would, I would, god dang. Oh, my bad, nephew, man. <laughs> oh, Elgar Rat watched the leg. I was watching with my little, my bad, my bad, nephew, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm tripping. All right, so this is the thing. When you, when you, because when you think about the wide receivers, right? Like, that's the thing. You don't want to get anybody who you have super high hopes on that you think, because, because now you're just saying that you, you're obviously thinking that you're going to get somebody that's going to replace who? Jordan Addison? Justin Jefferson? Is that what you're trying to get? You know, because the truth of the matter is you're probably just going to get another KJ Osborne type of guy. The truth is like you, you just, you're getting rid of KJ Osborne because you're not about to pay him what he wants. Like you can just replace him in the draft. <laughs> that's just, that's the situation where, where that we have on our hands right now, because if KJ Osborne would, wouldn't cost you, you would just keep him. You know what I mean? You would just keep him because I don't think that position on our team is super valuable. That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? Some people may feel different. Some people might want three, three really good receivers, but I think you just need a guy like what made me mad about KJ Osborne and he was dropping a lot of passes last year. If you can get a possession guy though, that has sure hands, like I like the Ricky Purcell because I think he might be one of those like possession third down, you know what I mean? And, and, he doesn't drop the ball a lot. So I, I, I see Ricky Purcell almost as a faster Adam Thielen type role. Yeah. Like, and I love Adam Thielen third down. You know what I mean? Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. Justin Jefferson, 
Jordan Addison, TJ yeah. Hawkinson with a Ricky Purcell. Come on. Yeah. And I think I, I always go back to the Patriots and think about like Julian Edelman's and stuff like yes. that. Like, I think like if we could just get one of those type of guys, that would be perfect. You know what I mean? Like that would be perfect, bro. You know, um, I think that would like fit in the offense good because again, like I said, you're not looking for too much production out of your third receiver because for one, we have a really good tight end too, which also takes away from that. And let's not forget Aaron Jones can catch the ball really good. Yes. All right, so we're, we should be using him too, as far as a receiver too. Like he should be another form of a receiver for the Minnesota Vikings this season as well. What we thought KOC was going to do with Dalvin Cook the first year, which we didn't see, but like hopefully he learned his lesson. And I'm going to tell you, Aaron Jones can catch that rock. So like, let's, let's make sure we add that in there too, man. That would be platinum. Let's do this mock real quick, um, Yogi. Um, Cause we, 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 we hitting on, we, we about to hit on two hours out here. Let me do this. So we we just let's just do one round. We'll pick you want, every. You want to be odd or even? Uh, you uh, just click the one that says all. You don't have to pick them all. Oh, scroll up. Right, on. See right above oh, yeah. the build. There we go. There we there go. go. All right, perfect. All right, let's enter the draft. All right, yeah. Um, it don't matter. You can you can go first. All right. Or because so, who, who do you want? Do you would you rather? I mean, it's up to you. It's your mock, man. You the mock king, man. So would it be better so, for so, you? To so are, are are we gonna be are we doing this mock as if yeah, we could do the trade not, if you want to if you want to do the trade or however you want to, you know what I mean? Like we're just doing one round. I'm just doing the okay. first round though. First round, but are we looking at this mock as if this is what we hope the Vikings want? Right. Or are we gonna yeah. actually do it as of Let's do it like we hope, like, like, let's, let's try to get it right. Let's try to get it right. All right. I mean, let's, let's do it as if we think this is what the Viking, we think this is what the draft's going to look like April 25th. Let's do it like that. And we'll have the chat help us. We'll have the chat help us. So y'all tap in. Let's go. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Let's so get it. Start the draft. I think. All right. So start draft. All right. Boom. We on the clock. Bears pick Marvin Harrison Jr. Let's go. They're going to shock the world. Boom. All right, so I'm on the clock. Ooh-wee. I know Vikings fans looking at rap like, what you going to do, rap? You know this is what we, hey, hey, rap, hey. All right, so I'm going to say this. And, and this is my prediction. I think that, I think that we're actually not going to be able to move up the two. Um, I'll let Yogi decide three. I'm just going to focus on two. I don't think the Vikings are getting there, in my opinion. I think they're going to go um, quarterback. So I'm going to say that the Vikings are, and we got to screenshot this. We got to screenshot this mock draft and see how close we get when the when the uh, when the god dang when the when the draft does come on. I'm going to say that the Washington Commanders, like how they were doing at the beginning. When it was mocking, I'm saying they're going Drake May. Vikings fans are hyped on Drake May. Washington Commanders are taking Drake May. They, um, you know, us, one, of the, one of the main signals is this. They traded Sam Howell. When I think about why they traded Sam Howell, it's because they don't want these friends on the, on the roster competing against each other. These guys actually had an interview with each other, and they were asked this question and, and talked about how you know, what, it, what, it, what would it be like playing together? Obviously, they said, oh, it would be good. You know, we're friends and we have a relationship, obviously, from the college because Drake May sat behind Sam Howell. But I'm going to tell you, they moved off of Sam Howell because they know they're bringing in the next UNC guy. Now, for them to go to UNC quarterbacks back to back to try to be the franchise, hey, that's on them, man. But I got Drake May going number two, man, for sure. All right. Pick number three. Let's pull up the Vikings. Let's trade with the Vikings. All right. So you think this is what's going to happen, huh? Trade with the all Vikings. Right, so, all right. So uh, let me see. Uh, I should have no, I should, I should have let you goddamn do this. Click where it says trade. All right. There we go. Uh, on the Giants one, change that to the Vikings. All right. Hold on. Minnesota Vikings. All right. All right. We're going to give them pick 11. All right. Pick 23. All right. Um, scroll down. We're gonna give um 
pick one uh, first round next year, and we want a third round this year. Scroll up. So give us 68. Boom. Offer that trade. All right. And with Boom. that pick, we're getting my guy, Jaden Daniels. Hey. Even over Caleb Williams. Hey. All right. So hold up. All right. So trade accepted. Hold on. Why? Okay. Oh, um, now hit oh, draft player. All right. And now we get in Caleb. Are we getting Jaden Daniels? Yep. Okay. Well, they got Jaden Daniels ranked. Rank down there on there. Boom. All right. Boom. 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 Let's go. Let's go, man. Hey, this is actually what we want to happen right here. Like, this would be fire right here, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, like, if Caleb Williams was available, though, I feel like, I feel like they would, to be honest with you, I probably should have picked Caleb Williams number two, but. I don't I don't think Caleb Williams definitely ain't falling down this far, but this would be crazy though. This would shock the world, wouldn't it? <laughs> this would shock the world right here, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, so Arizona Cardinals, I'm going with the obvious here. They're gonna get Malik neighbors, in my opinion. They need weapons. They're gonna go the next best wide receiver. Um, which some people got Rome ranked ahead of him, but I'm going Malik neighbors here for sure to the Arizona Cardinals. All right, breed up, bring up that trade. Uh, oh man, my boy just going crazy with the trade. All right, who are we trading with? Uh, the Raiders. All right, so the Raiders. Uh, there we go. All right, are we going to do 13? They're getting five. What uh, else are you going to get? 44. 44. And uh, first round next year. All right, boom. And we're getting five. Let's see. Oh, hold up. How you ain't going to accept that? We got every word. Man, we forcing this trade, bro. Yeah, force that. Hold on. I think I got to scroll down a little bit. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Perfect. And with that, the last day. We already know. Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams going number five overall to the Raiders. I don't know, man. I, would, I, would, I think I would be kind of mad if I seen Caleb Williams go number five. I'm going to be like, yo, what the hell? That Chargers aren't going to trade in their division, though. You do got a point. That would be crazy. <laughs> Just like the Vikings wouldn't trade in their division, and we've done it like three or four mm -hmm. times. You're right, though. <laughs> You're right. I got to agree with them. Crazy things happen. Yeah. Crazy things happen. All right, the New York Giants. I'm on the clock. I'm telling you right now, New York Giants, if they made it right here and they were able to get their guy, they're going J.J. McCarthy right here, man. This is the clear pick right here, in my opinion. They obviously are done with da um, Daniel Jones. And to be honest with you, if I was them, I would get Rome. I would get Rome. Um. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you tied to Daniel Jones regardless for one more year. You might as well. You made it to the playoffs with him. You know, he got injured last year. But, I mean, I think they're going to go. They would go J.J. right here for sure. All right. All right. Titans. Titans. Go and give me Roma Dunze. Titans going Roma Dunze. Getting, getting the boy Will Levis some weapons. Let's go, man. All right, so we got we got the oh y'all know I want to roast the Falcons, f the Falcons, man. <laughs> but you know what the the best thing for the Falcons to do right here, honestly, um, I would say they definitely need they definitely need an edge. Oh man, um, I don't really know who their tackles are. Do they got really good tackles? Oh uh, no, it'd be kind of hard to pass up on Joe, but. I'm going to go, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go, I'm going to go verse right here, man. I'm going to go verse right here, man, for the, for the goddamn Falcons, man. Let's go. That would be, that would be good for them. I'm going to tell you right now, man, do not get Kirk Cousins. No offensive line. We want to smack them for sure. We don't want them to be blocked at all. F that. All right. Ball. Open up that trade window. Oh, my gosh. 
But ain't all ain't all these trades ain't gonna damn happen, man. This this would be this would be a fucking history. Uh, Broncos. All right, Broncos. All right, boom. They give him pick twelve. Yep, for pick nine, and we want um pick seventy six. Cause 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 you guys look at it. I mean, the Bears do not have that many picks, so they they, they need some draft capital. So yeah. offer that trade, and oh, 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 it probably accepted. Boom, yeah. Broncos, Bo Nix. All right, but you but. I guess my thing would have been like it looked like the looked like they would have been able to get Bo Nix regardless because there was really nobody above them that would have went after Bo Nix. But that hey, shit, let's go, Bo Nix on the clock. I right, so when it comes to the Jets, man, I'm going offensive line. I'm definitely to be honest with you, like Brock Bowers looks very appealing. To be honest with you. Um, to get to add, to add on to some of the weapons they got on offense with Aaron Rodgers coming back, but uh, no, nah, you know what? Let's see. Hold on, let me go back up. All right, so the so the Bears ha- didn't didn't pick a quarterback yet. I'm going. Damn, boy, Bears fans would be pissed right now. Bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this would not happen. They, I don't think that would happen for sure. They would be fucking pissed. You know I mean? <laughs> They'd be like, but we got rid of Justin Fields for this. Like, what? Hold up, man. <laughs> I'm going Joe Alt here, man. I'm gonna go Joe Alt. I'm gonna go just hey, just get get a tackle. They need a tackle on the other side, man. Like, I think Joe Alt would be a good fit right there. All right, you got the you got the Patriots on the clock. Patriots are gonna go. Uh who's the uh that Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers, the Patriots. Yep. All right. So we got Brock Bowers going to the Patriots. They ain't got no damn quarterback. All right. So on the clock, I got the Bears, man. I'm just gonna go ahead and get your boy Michael Penix. I mean, obviously they need a quarterback. They they just got rid of their quarterback, bro. They ain't got no damn body. Yeah, you know I'm saying they got they got R- Ripken, I think, in the as, as their quarterback right now. So shit. This, this, I don't think this would happen at all, to be honest with you, with oh, the Bears' no. moves. But still, yet, yeah, hey, what we doing tonight? We hoping this would happen. This would yeah, be fire. This is just uh, <laughs> we hoping. <laughs> this is what we want to happen. Shit. <laughs> For sure. All right. All right. You got the Chargers. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go. Byron Murphy. All right, Byron Murphy, that'd be a good pick. That'd be a good pick. Buff up that defense. They definitely need that defensive interior, so that'd be good. They, I mean, they get they done clean the shelves. Yeah, you know I mean, they got rid of their pass rushes for the most. Joey Joey Bosa's probably out of there. Um, I think he's already. I think he's already like trying to get with somebody else, right? I know there was talks about it. Um, um I think he's um restructuring his contract. Oh, okay. All right. So we got the Saints on the building, man. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Quinion Mitchell. I'm going Quinion Mitchell here, man. Like, to be honest with you, like, he just seemed like he would fit in, in New Orleans. This would actually this would actually help them boost their defense up. Um, to be honest, they probably would be hoping that one of the receivers would fall. I feel like they need it because if, if yeah. Michael Thomas is going to leave, that would be more appealing to them. But I mean... Quinion Mitchell just seemed he, he's a dog, man. The dude, the dude's definitely physical. He plays the cornerback position very well, man. I wouldn't mind having him on our team, but I know he ain't gonna be there. You know, we got to get the quarterback right first, man. We'll we'll have cornerbacks next season. We can pick at the top. You hear me? <laughs> this season, we need to focus on one thing only, and we got him. For sure. Uh, you got the you got the Colts on the clock. Let's go, Cooper DeJean. Cooper DeJean, man. Let's go. Hey, he's a he's a beast too. I like him. I like him. He's physical. You know what I mean? Physical guy out there. All right. So we got the Seahawks on the clock. Seahawks are on the clock, man. I'm gonna go with Dallas. Where Dallas Turner at, man? I'm going Dallas Turner here, man. They Damn, definitely need them. Pick. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> need them an edge rusher, man. You know, I, I could definitely see the Seahawks doing that. They need that. You feel me? Them boy had a pass rush in a minute. <laughs> 
Hey, let's let's go ahead and get that center from um Oregon. Oregon. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we gotta we're gonna get we're gonna get them boys a center. Hold on down. Let me see. He should be he actually should be um close to the top, shouldn't he? Yeah. There we Let's go. see. There we go. We got Jackson Power Johnson going to the damn Jaguars. Know what I'm saying? And then we got the Bengals on the clock, man. Who the Bengals going to get, man? I'm going to go right here with Jajon Newton, man. I think yeah. I think he would be a good pick for the Bengals. They also getting rid of Reader. They need to fill that hole. This would yep. be perfect, man. Put him in there. He going to hold it down. You hear me? That's a fact. All right. Give me some Talis Fawaga. All right, Fawanga. Let's go, man. Let's go. Put them on it. They need that too. You know what I mean? Is this would be perfect to protect uh protect your boy uh Matthew Stafford while he on the end of his tenure, man. You know what I mean? Because he ain't gonna be there much longer. So this would be good, man, for them to get. Um, I'm on the clock right here with the Steelers. I think this would definitely is gonna be your boy Terry on Arnold. You know what I'm saying? They going all in on this right here. This dude is physical. He's really good. And I'm going to tell you right now, man, they got Joey Porter Jr. on the other side that, you know, turn, he, he turned out decent, man. You know what I mean? Rookie year. Team him up with this guy, man. You got two young guys out there playing. They got rid of Patrick Peterson. All right. Patrick Peterson needs to hang the cleats up. So they obviously they got they got Fitzpatrick. This would be fire defense right here. Hey, Dominic, said, to, Dominic said more breaking news. Quasi is very interested in trading up to number two. Oh, wow. Let's go, Dominic. Let's go. Let's go. I hope I that happens. That. <laughs> we, trade up the number, we trade up the number two. I'm going to tell you right now, Caleb Williams is going to be, might be the guy, bro. I just got a weird feeling. If we get to number two, Caleb Williams might be the guy. We might be getting, I know you don't like that. I know you don't like that, Yogi, but I'm telling you right okay now, we get okay. the number two, bro. I got a feeling like the, the Bears, Got a conversation with with Kayla where they like, man, we don't want this guy, bro. This guy's attitude is something. He he acting like he don't want to play in the cold or something. Like he, you know, his parents out here saying it's too cold in Chicago or something. Like, man, now nah, we ain't even gonna be dealing with that shit. We about to go get us Drake May. You know what I'm saying? Or something. Like I can yeah. see that. I can see that happening. I mean, if we if we had Caleb Williams or Jaden Daniels at Pico too, I'd still be happy. Guess what Caleb Williams' favorite color is. Purple, let's go. <laughs> All right, so Miami Dolphins trade down to the uh, Duke uh, offensive lineman. Uh, Duke offensive lineman. Yep, Ryan. Graham Barton. Okay, Graham Just Barton. I, okay. Think, I, I could think. I think he could play all positions on the O line. All right. And um, Dolphins need O line help. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I like that. All right, right here, man. Comes to the Eagles, man. I'm going. Let's see, man. Who who do, who I think the Eagles would get? I'm gonna go with La Two, man. From I'm gonna go the edge from UCLA. I'm going here, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I don't. So is the Reddick? But real quick, did they get rid of Reddick? Are they getting rid of Reddick? I heard. I heard there's. Or did, did he already sign somewhere else? No, oh, I haven't heard that yet. All right, I'm going there. They're going to replace that. He out of there. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I got, man. They're going to lie too, man. All right, you got, All right. The, you got the Patriots on the clock again. Yep, throw up quarterbacks. Oh, you think they about to reach? They about to reach. Spencer Rattler to sit behind. Oh, they reaching for Rattler. That actually doesn't seem like, that actually doesn't seem crazy. No. It actually doesn't seem crazy to be real with you. you know well, what I'm saying? I only did it here because we were only doing a first round. Yeah. And the other one, I would have had them pick them in the second round. But I think they get a quarterback to sit yeah. behind Brissett. Yeah. So Dallas, I think right here is definitely going Troy from Washington because obviously the news, they lost their top tackle. All right. So they need to fill that void for Dak Prescott. Listen, you have a guy that you're about to invest a ton of money into extending. What do you need to do? Protect them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to protect your investment. How do you do that? Draft Troy. You know what I'm saying? Draft Troy at 24. That's how you do that. So 
that's a perfect lined up pick right there. They got to do that if it falls like that. You know what I'm saying? And same but, with um, the Packers. They're going to have to go that one. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate saying that boy name for yeah. sure. For Shanu, for sure. We going with him, man. I right. I got the I got the Bucks. I right, so Bucks on the clock, man. I'm gonna go. I'm definitely Nate Wiggins, man. I think Nate Wiggins. There's some things I don't like about Nate. I actually watch Nate Wiggins. I actually watch some of his stuff, man. Um, there's a lot of things I like, but there's a there's a couple things I don't like about it. Um. But you know what? I think he has the potential to definitely be a dog, though, for sure. He has the potential, man. He's very physical at the line. What I like is he's physical at the line and he's he's fat. He he has very fast recovery speed. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing with these cornerbacks. Like, what you want to have is you want to have recovery speed and you also want to have, like, you got to be good at, like, predicting, right? Like, yeah. reading the play, knowing what's going to happen, having that, that sixth sense, man. That's what Ed Reed was really good at. Like, Ed Reed was really good at that. Nate Wiggins obviously isn't there, but on some of his tape, man, you could see it, man, that he's almost there, you know what I mean? And I think he would definitely be a guy that can come in and possibly be a starter right away, you know what I mean? He'll definitely challenge who they have on their roster. So I think Nate uh, Wiggins would be a good fit. Who did you grab at pick four for the Cardinals? Pick four, uh, Malik Neighbors. Okay. So then I want to go... Scroll down, scroll down. Um, shit. Let's go. You know what? Keeps going down to the uh, Virgin Zach Zach Frazier. Right okay. There. All right. Center. Let's go. They got Zach Frazier from West Virginia. You know what I'm saying. All right. Let me go to. Um, I got the Bills. I'm gonna go. I'm going to say the Bills are going to get Mitchell. I'm going Mitchell from Texas, man. Listen, you already see what's going on. First of all, they lost They lost your boy to uh to the to the Jaguars. All right, Gabe Davis. He gone. Hey, Diggs out here acting prima donna. You already know Diggs about to go. Now, I'm going to say Mitchell isn't going to fill that void right away, but you got to at least take a shot on a receiver, man. Yeah. Now, I mean, you got Josh Allen there. You need to take a shot on the receiver. I'm going to say they're going Mitchell right here. Um, and that's just what it is, bro. Like, for sure. All right, we got the we got the lines on the clock, man. Get them somebody garbage. Uh, Chop Robinson. Ooh-wee. That is not what I want to happen. All right, let's see. Where's Chop at? All right, there boom, Chop. All right, we got the Ravens on the clock. Let's see, man. Ravens. Hmm, let me think, man. Ravens. When I think about the Ravens, I think about... Uh, so OBJ is going to be gone. Um, you know, Raven, I'm going to go Kool-Aid, man. I'm going Kool-Aid right here for the Ravens. Um you know what I mean? I I think they need definitely need some depth at that cornerback position, man. I'm 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 going I'm going Kool Aid right here. I could see Kool Aid going to the Ravens. He seemed like a Raven, man. I mean, cool ass name too, man. No pun intended, man. You know what I'm saying his mama that can't be his real name. Is that his real name, Kool Aid? I think it's Nick Dan. Okay, because they hey, shout out to him. His nickname is so powerful that they even called him that motherfucking shit on PFF. You feel me? And everybody <laughs> calls him that. <laughs> I don't think nobody know the motherfucking real name. His real name Kool Aid. <laughs> Ah, right, you got you got uh, San Fran. JC Lantham for San Fran. All right, boom. There we go. And then right here, I know where I'm going all day. This is to me, to me, this right here is definitely gonna be the pick, man. I'm going Xavier oh, yeah. Worthy for the Chiefs. All right, let's see what do they get the they, oh, they, grade they, they don't grade this one now. Oh, okay, yeah. But we, hey, we fucked this draft all the way up at the beginning. I ain't gonna lie. We got the Bears. <laughs> we got the Bears getting nobody, bro. Like, literally, like. <laughs> F the Bears. Hey, this is what we hoping the Bears do, y'all. We got the Bears getting no one. You hear me? Like, for yes. sure. The, Bear, the Bears walked away this draft with, with, I mean, they did walk away with Marvin Harrison Jr. and Michael Penix, but that ain't saying a lot, goddammit. Oh. You know what I mean? Like. 
they would get fired ASAP, bro. I'm sorry. I'm talking about if they don't make the NFC Championship game, boy, they ass out of there. You hear me? Like for sure. But nah, that, that was decent, man. I'm a oh, matter of fact, let me uh let me take a picture. <laughs> I kind of wanted to try to do it as serious as possible, but nah, I ain't even taking no picture of that because that should have even gone. Yeah, yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll do a serious one. We'll do another one. We'll do another one, man, where it gets where it gets serious, man. You know hey, I mean? did but, we break hey, 300 uh people in the building? I think so earlier. Yeah, I think Hell we yeah. got close. We we're like at, we were at like 286 or something. For sure, man. Shout out everybody in the building, man. We appreciate y'all, man. We about to get up out of here. Um, Yogi, you got anything going on? Um, you got anything going on this week, man? What's your schedule looking like? What type of lives you got? People, let the people know. Maybe Monday night, maybe Wednesday night. Maybe uh, I think you and I are going to just tap stay in tapped on, in. Yep. Next Friday night. I dropped my link in the messages. Be sure to go hit that sub button. But yeah, Skull Vikings, this has been an awesome free agency so far. Let's go, man. Shout out my boy, Steven, man. Hey, shout out to everybody, man. We appreciate y'all, man. We love y'all as always, man. Skull Vikings, guess what, guys? It's our effing time, bro. Let's go. We about to get Let's our guys. Let's go, Skull Vikings. Hey, holla at your boy.